All right, guys, what's up? We are officially live. Mr. Chris, take us away. Okay, so uh, last week we uh, we started off in uh, in the park where the uh, the animals were uh, visiting a couple of final animals before leaving. Uh, first, there was a a polar bear in an enchanted cage that uh, Myrtle got up close and personal with, and then uh, and then a brown bear. Uh, the group left the park after, after that, that to, to meet up meet with up oh, oh, I'm echoing on someone to meet up with uh, Zilch uh, where he took them to the shopping district in the Tangles uh, they visited first a blacksmith uh, Myrtle attempted to haggle for Grimdor's <laughs> chain mail to um, yeah, the limited uh, success uh, they uh, they met a fancy jeweler named Bethany and her uh, her store's guard Prickly Pete. Uh, everyone bought some. Uh, well, not everyone, but uh, but many of you uh, bought some uh, some jewelry to to start looking fancy and, and get a little bit more magical. Uh, you went to a bookstore where uh, a couple of books were purchased uh, on Sven's behalf and. Uh, and uh, you were offered a, uh, a, a body tale uh, written by a Mr. Scanlon Shorthalt uh, that it turns out uh, Grimdor had, uh, had met uh, many years ago back, uh, back in Draconia. Uh, from there, the, the group went over to the, uh, the western uh, side of the Tangles as well with Myrtle getting lost along the way, but, uh, but she did meet back up with them. Uh, in order to uh, to buy up uh, buy up the lot at the general store where uh, Grimdor passed out uh, prizes to everyone, and uh, and that concluded the shopping day. Once uh, once Grimdor's uh, chainmail uh, was picked up, finished uh, after its alterations were finished. Right, I was going to uh, confirm that we did go and pick that. I couldn't remember. Yep, you uh, you did go pick that up, and uh, oh, from there you you did uh, go one further spot uh, to the burning bottle, the alchemist shop uh, that uh, Zilch is friends with the owner. It's the place where he normally buys his cigarettes, uh, and uh, and Myrtle asked about uh, someone that might be able to help uh, build her. Uh, something to remotely ignite her her smoke powder and explosives. Uh, the the owner Emelyn uh, said that uh, his uncle kind of dabbled in that kind of stuff, but he would need to uh, ask him uh, about uh, about whether that was something he could help with first, and and if they came back the next day, they might be able to uh, might be able to work something out there. Uh, but that's where you ended. You guys are in the tangles right now it's getting late in the afternoon at uh, at this point and the rest of the day is yours what is that everything do? that we needed to do <laughs> anyone uh, bueller well <laughs> bueller have you guys have have these guys come back to me yet? Oh, I guess. Where are you? Did you go back to the hotel? Um, I I imagine you were kind of uh, trailing along, just kind of uh, uh, waiting outside as they they went into shops. Just uh, there, there's benches here and there. You were probably just uh, resting. Uh, of course, uh, turning into a giant toad for the first time can be quite taxing. Yes. Okay. Well, how did you guys make out? I got you some books. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And I, I will just hand, hand the uh, books to them. Okay, so with Ooh, uh, those books, reads. so you've got uh, Livestock of the Zemni Fields. Uh, with that one, there is, there's information on any type of common livestock or or farm animal uh, so anything that would gen generally be considered uh, one of those types of things would be uh, covered in detail in there with with photos and descriptions uh, 
Uh, and then there's uh, there's one about the wildlife of the Pearl Bow Wilderness. And that one's going to have detailed information about the common types of things that you would find in the woods. Now, of course, the would learn from the book that the Pearl Bow Wilderness uh, holds more than just owls and bears. There's there's some more stuff in there, and uh, probably with some extended reading, you can you can find out uh, about more than just the the common uh, wooded area animals that that are to be found in the Pearl Bow Wilderness. Perfect. Okay, uh, so what uh, what is our next plan, guys? Uh, I guess we are going to try and find Myrtle's mother. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, uh, I also have to go back to the alchemist shop tomorrow if we're going to be going anywhere, just like before we leave. If that's okay with everybody. Roger that. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know what do you, what what should we do? I guess I guess we probably need to go talk to my grandma. Yes, that is something that uh, I know you've been dreading, but I think it's pretty <laughs> a good idea. I might Shall not we? go in. I mean, you if that's okay. Possible. We could probably handle it. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Whatever you decide, we'll work with it. I'm accommodating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Myrtle. Okay, so, is, is there anybody? Is there anything else that anybody needs from the from the shop? So, are we clear to maybe go back to the, the tavern? What time uh, of day is it, DM? Uh, it would be late late afternoon, probably like four o'clock or so. Okay. Um, then yeah, let's. Uh, I say we go back to the tavern and and kind of discuss our. Our next plans of attack and, and movement, and uh, and then we can kind of go from there. Sounds good to me. Affirmative. Okay, so right now you guys are right around here. You're you're just around the corner from the Cobalt Soul Archive, uh, not too far from there, uh, and you'll remember that uh, you were staying right here in Camaroof Cottage, a yellow building inside the Shimmer Ward. It's, uh, it's a, a gated area. There's, there's walls along all sides, except for the very bottom center, where uh, there's, there's one entrance in and out of the, the Shimmer Ward. And you would also know that within the Shimmer Ward uh, are uh, the, uh, the tall spires, one of, one of those buildings being the one that uh, Duan Diversity lives in. And works in. What was the name of our inn again, sir? Uh, Camaruth Cottage. Ugh. Okay. So, are you guys going to make your way over there then? Yep. Yeah, sounds good. Yes. Yeah. Ugh, they're so stuffy there, though. I guess it's free. I don't know. I kind of like the young, the young lads. They are so uh, angry and angsty. It's quite comical. Is that what Especially it takes to get there. somebody to like you? Or to, for you to like somebody? I mean, I'd like lots of people. I like the robes. Yeah, the robes are kind of cool. <laughs> the robes are really cool. Dare I say they're fluffy? Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> so you guys make your way uh, back through the tangles over towards your... your most direct route over to uh, to the entrance there it takes you within a few blocks of where the fancy jeweler is. You're, you're kind of uh, uh, in the nicer area of the tangles. And as you get past that, you get into uh, a place where there are some uh, some larger buildings. There's some a couple of churches. You see uh, a very large uh, church um, dedicated to Bahamut. Uh, and you do go past uh, the very large church uh, that uh, um, you noticed on your first way in that's uh, uh, dedicated to uh, Paylor, uh, called the Chantry of the Dawn. Uh, and uh, as you arrive at the gates into the Shimmer Ward, there are a couple of uh, guards there. It's, it's um, 
not close to the gates, uh, but there is one roadway through, and there's a couple of guards standing around. They're they're wearing uh, they're wearing a chain shirt each, and and they each have spears in their hands. And so they see you guys come up. They say, uh, uh, "Hold up there! What's your business?" Oh, uh, we're we're staying at a at a at a, a cottage in this area. You are. We were literally just here this morning. You any, uh, uh, we are staying at the, the Camruth Cottage. Cottage. Camruth Cottage, sure. Uh, you, do you have some papers? Do, do we need have papers? papers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you're gonna need some papers. Yeah, and I don't you think guys, so. you guys uh, will recognize that these are the same two guards that were eyeing you up on your way out this morning. I was going to say, I think you know, uh, you might have uh, seen us leaving uh, earlier today, um, but uh, we are working with the, um, the, the, the the head of the, the whole city here. So uh, they've put us up um, under their own protection, under their own wing. Uh, this is a little uh, interesting. I, I know we don't look like much at the moment, but uh, we just, you know, saved your city from pretty crazy animal attack so we would like to yeah. go in yeah yeah sure you did some beer. piss off yeah and yeah. we don't need paper <clears throat> piss off. they're uh they're with me we're uh working for the cobalt soul here so pay no mind to us and we'll pay no mind to you they uh kind of look at each other and um one guy uh kind of just like a like a head nod to you, Zilch, to uh, to go over to the side with them. Uh, all right, I'll walk over. So yeah, he, wa oh. he walks about uh, ten or fifteen uh, feet away from everyone else, and he says, uh, "Hey, look, man, I uh, the Cobalt Soul guys are are pretty cool." Aww, and he does like some like karate chop motions <laughs> in the air. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You, Does you his beard go over his neck? <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys are you guys are pretty badass. I actually, you know, I was, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna join up. I was gonna, I was gonna be in the Cobalt Soul. Um, chick though, uh, chick that did my interview. She was, she was a real bitch. I think she was a brag or something. Ouch. Anyway, like, you know, look, man, if it was just you, we wouldn't have a problem, right? And like, actually, maybe that uh, maybe that elf check over there. And you look, and he he like looks at Ladir like <laughs> from head down to toe and back up real slow. And he, wait, and then he kind of gets a, a kind of a slight scowl on his face. And he says, "Wait a minute, that didn't used to be a dude or anything, right?" I believe you were distracted. And if you truly did seek wisdom from the Cobalt Soul, then you would seek answers from the Knowing Mistress. Listen, and she may speak to you. Yeah, whatever the fuck that means, man. Look, listen, <laughs> like I say, if if it was if it was just you or, or maybe the tree hugger dude, like, man, I, whatever. But like, look at those other two. They look like fucking crick. Is there a chance that any of us can hear any of this? Uh, make a perception check, but he's like talking kind of quiet. What, what about my twenty-one passive perception? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's true, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. but he's he's pretty far away, so still make a perception check. All right, okay. I, <laughs> I perceive nothing, but I'm still angry. Fuck right now. Oh yeah. well, winning. Yeah, oh, so crit. Sven, you you can hear it. Oh crit! Oh crit! Are they wearing? Are they wearing armor? Yes. <laughs> okay. <good> um, <laughs> are you going to uh, say anything that you hear this, or are you just keeping it? Oh. I you you see uh, Sven tensing up and and getting a little uh, a little worked up, but he's trying to let Zilch handle the situation. While this whole conversation can... is going on, I just want like to like look at everybody and be like, "I'm sorry, guys. It's totally my fault. This happens all the time. I don't really this know why." This is not your but... fault, little one. You guys will notice that I'm pretty angry because of the papers thing. That already like ticked me off. So like I'm not happy. 
Also, I'm not I'm happy, Nug, right now. Nug, Nug is wearing his. I'm angry, oh, Nug. He's, he's just wearing regular. No, I'm not wearing. No, no. But I know no. these kinds of guys, like as an orc in this organization. So I'm not happy right now. Let's put it that way. Um. Are so he says. For money? They shall not get money. Get something. We were sent by Tversky. Open the gates. And the guy, uh, the guy's still over there talking to Zilch, and he says, "Look at those, uh, the fucking big ugly guy and the little one. They look like fucking Crick." I'm coming and, up. Uh, I'm... And and Zilch, you would know, uh, you would know that Crick is like a derogatory term from uh, for someone from Jorhas. It's like, even though the Empire is at war with the Jorhas, it's still like kind of a distasteful word to say. And I'm, I will, I'm gonna uh, walk I... up behind Zilch intimidatingly. I like as you're heading towards them. Can I? Can I just like grab Grim's hand and just just be like, don't, don't like it's it's not worth it. They're just like at the end of the day, they have all the power, and if we do anything to make them bad, then it's just gonna somebody's gonna end up in jail, and it's not worth it. <laughs> They have no power. I put my hands uh, behind me, kind of, kind of stop. I'll <laughs> stay. I'm a parent. Listen, don't pay attention to them. They are not cricks. They're with the Cobalt Soul, and if you do believe that the Cobalt Soul is a cool faction, then I hope you would take my word for it. That any sort of behavior would come down on our responsibility. Hey, no concern. Around this time, um, somebody there's a, a little guard building not too far from there, and uh, there's some windows on it, and uh, a door opens up, and uh, another guard comes out, and this guy kind of looks like he's uh, dressed a little bit nicer. He's he's got some ornamentation on. You get the sense that he's a higher ranking than than these guys, and he comes over and he says, uh, is "There, uh, is there a problem over here?" Yes, there is a problem. We are staying at the Camerath Cottage, and they will not. They refuse to let us pass. We're just trying to get to home for the night. We've been put up in a cottage, and it's been really, really nice so far. We really appreciate it, but, like, these guys just won't let us by. I'm uh, <laughs> sure we can work something out. You've, you've got your papers? Nobody gave us any papers. Were we supposed to have papers? Yeah, we were only put up in the cottage by the king. By the king. All right. Yeah, well, um, yep. I'll uh, I'll have someone go check with the king. Wait here. In the meantime, we request that we seek our lodgings, and if there is any sort of misunderstanding, then you can come get us later. You'll wait here. <laughs> and he kind of like wave waves over a couple of more guys and a couple of more guards. Uh, come out so there's, I'll take there's a long, four guards now I'll take a long draw on my smoke and I'll just smile and laugh <laughs> let's us let's us let's just entertain them they need to feel valuable speak with Schreiber or Marshal Ishmara or Tversky you guys if if it helps Eddie will you let these guys in and I'll just go stay at another tavern for the night it's totally fine I can totally do that you will not Myrtle that, no. is, that's not no. okay. that is not okay with us. You guys wait here. Stay right here. We will... Who are we checking with? Schreiber, Ishmara, take a, or Tversky. Take your pick. Alright. Back up out there into the tangles. I literally just shuffle like an inch back. Yeah, and that's guy. really all you really kind of need to do. Mm. And he uh, he walks off into back into the little guard building, and the other four just kind of stay there. They're they've got their spears and they're kind of spaced out, blocking the the way in, blocking the road in. And. Uh, Ten minutes pass. 
15. I'm getting fed up. At least it's a really nice day out. Look at the clouds. They're so fluffy. <laughs> 20 minutes now. Do you guys see that bird? I'm gonna spit on the ground in front of What kind of bird do you think that is? <laughs> a okay. Big old horn. okay, okay, when, okay. When you, what about, uh, what about, what about, what about the magnificent the bed wrestlers? So Someone's I, mic's echoing. The magnificent, yeah, what? The magnificent bed wrestlers. Oh my god. Wait, are you like are you referring to like like a, a sex position or something? <laughs> I feel like that's like weird to talk I don't know. Well. Wait, who taught who taught Myrtle the sex? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I am an adult. I do Okay, fine. The Hopper Dukes. Did actually I have a question for the DM. Did they did I get a diff did so when they gave me my plate, did they, did I get a new shield as well? Yeah, but it's gonna match your armor. It's just okay, like good. Just making sure because yeah. my shield had righteous brand on the back, on like a thing. Okay, good. good yeah, good. no, sure. you don't have any All right, righteous good. brand. Good. Even good. even like little trinkets or anything that you would have had, they would have made yeah. you give those up. Yeah. Fly. The we will we will be known as the Dan Seti's gods. The what? what? Is... The Dan said he's I... God. I kind of like the Hopper Dookies. The, the Dan said he's God. <laughs> the Hopper Uh, I, I think we should let uh, a name just kind of organically uh, come come to us. Uh, I feel like we're trying too hard. Or you, you're trying too hard. <laughs> what about humans or idiots? Mm, I mean, that is and also a good name, but... That's a pretty good name, right? I mean, I feel uh, like the uh, it's the guards are sneer. The guards are kind of like sneering at Nug, and one of them or. kind of, one of them kind of goes over to the <laughs> other one and whispers something into his ear. I bet you. Because these group these guards, these four these four guards plus the leader, they're all humans. I bet you their group name is not all bad. <laughs> their what? Their group name is not all men. Oh, I thought you said their grim name. No. <laughs> I, I, get, I get it. I got it. So about half did an we, hour can we, can, later. Did anybody see ahead. this? Did Nug see that? What? Them whispering about you? I'm staring at them. All right. I don't know. It's, I mean, yeah, they're like, you guys are all standing there. It's very tense. This guy had to walk uh, like five feet to whisper something into the other guy's ear, and they're both kind of, he kind of like smiles and laughs a little bit, and they're both looking at Nug. They're a bunch of I was like guys... picking my teeth with my like pinky. <laughs> Are you guys talking about the date that you're going to go on later? You're both <laughs> a real cute couple. <laughs> I burst out laughing. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> also, that guy has the prettiest eyelashes I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, turn around. I want to see the back end. What? And you can see. Also, sir, sir, what kind of blush do you wear? I was hoping to get a new one. Oh, well, this is gonna be so bad. Where, where? You can see that yeah, these guys, the like air. their 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 jaws are clamped. I don't know they, why uh, you guys are laughing. They look I'm being angry uh, about this. Uh, <laughs> Am I about to? Yeah. My... Yep. Uh, is uh, where's the god the god captain? Did he did he disappear for a minute? He went oh, he back into the little guard building. Us. He went back into the little okay. guard building. I, it's probably 25 feet away. My, I'm going to use my fancy um, circlet, and I'm going to cast Minor Illusion by okay. the uh, guard, uh, but on the, on the one side so that maybe the guard captain may, can't hear it, and I'll imitate his voice and his likeness <laughs> and say, okay, you can let them through. Okay, so you need to, uh, need to roll. roll Arcana. My auntie always taught me to kill them with kindness. Oh, 13. Okay. 13. 13. Yeah. Them with axes. <laughs> yeah. Just beat it. Yeah, that's my preferred method, not gonna lie. Okay, so what do you what do you say? So 
it's an illusion of the guard captain on the other side of the building um, where he can't see. Or I don't know where he is, but um, and this is, they are fine, let them through. They the kind of... Voice. Okay, let me... Uh... Jesus Christ, that's a lot of time. Uh, three of them uh, start kind of looking around like, oh, fuck, I, I, get, I guess we've got to let them through. And the one's like, what? wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, hold on. You just had to. And, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, hold on. You three, watch them. And he, uh, and he walks in to the, he walks over and, and opens up the, the door and goes in for a sec. And then he comes back out with the guard captain. Oh, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, no, we didn't get any word us... back yet. Oh, you, I mean, you just stood over there and you just told us to, to come through. So I'm confused. Shut up. What do you mean, shut up? You'll get I mean, through think... when we get some word back from someone up above. Did, oh, did you even go? go well for you guys. Society yeah, of Funeral Arrangers. Oh, uh, yeah, your superiors are going to be pissed at you, boys. <laughs> oh, fuck. What direction is the castle again? It's straight in front of you. Oh, yeah. so we can't even get okay. Yeah. Like you can see it. Like it. It's if uh, if you look at the the stream there, you guys are uh, right around where the. Uh -huh. The, between the E and the R in Shimmer. Okay. And Do that you... R, R1 right in the middle, that's the castle, straight forward. And the little yellow building right here, that's the Camaroth mm -hmm. Cottage. You're only a few blocks away from it. Can I see any possible way of, like, climbing over a wall where the guards can't see to, like, sneak in by myself? Uh, make a what perception is the, check. What is... uh, okay, uh, what that's is... an 18. 18. Uh, so you can see that the wall itself is about 20 feet high, and as you start looking, it's they're not really close, but there's little battlements, and there are archers up there. Not bitch. super close to where you are, but they are up there. Okay, like, are there uh, any, like, streams that go in that I could, like... This is the only the one. This is the only okay. way, yeah. Okay. What if I swam under the water past them? I don't think there's any water going in there. there. Oh, okay. Excuse uh, me, Captain. A question. Oh, yes, go ahead. Excuse me, Captain. My name is Karen. What's your name? Oh, wow. What's your badge number? I was straight up about to ask this, too. We have a standing appointment with Tversky, and we are late, so... I'd like to let her know who made us late. You'll get through when I get word and your name that you're allowed. And just right around that time, there is a uh, a younger looking guard that runs up. This this one is uh, is is uh, an elf, and he runs up and goes over towards the the guard tower and and. The, the, the guard leader walks over to him. They're kind of talking. It looks like they're having... He's having kind of heated words with the young elf. Uh, just as a as a backup, uh, in case this does not work, uh, what is the guard tower made of? And does it touch anything else? Like, is it surrounded <laughs> oh, <no>. by... <laughs> it's all stone. It's all stone. It's all stone. There's no straw roof. There's no... No, it's. Oh well, I mean the 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 guard uh, building. You mean rather than? Is it like just a little like cottage? Uh, like is it? Like yeah, it's it's, it's pretty small. It's probably building. like at most it's twenty by twenty. That's good to know. Does it have? Uh, you said it, there is the, some straw or something. Um, <laughs> something flammable. Might, it it looks like it's a flammable? it's a wood. It's probably a wooden roof. It it's got shingles. It's not like this is the nice area, right? So even though it's like a guard thing, it's this is 
and it's right at the front entrance where the fancy people are going to be going in and out and and, and they have they have to lay their eyes on it so everything looks in nice shape good to know um okay so uh he, he, he looks like he's having some heated words with the elf. And he kind of points and kind of like, ah, fuck out of here, kind of motion. He comes over to you guys. He kind of stands there for a minute and comes over to you guys. Go on your way. Go. Your name. Now. Hey. Go. <clears throat> your he name. Goes, he, he turns around and walks back into the building. Oh. I'm following him. As... I start walking, walking through, and then just turn around and go, "Suck it, bitches!" And then ah! go faster. <laughs> I'm going to the building. I'm talking, I'm getting this guy's name. Okay. It's probably uh, the, the a terrible door, idea. The door's closed. I will not. Nobody comes to the door. I have a feeling they probably have a list of who's supposed to be on the gate right now. That's true. I'll just yell the word coward and then we'll. Okay. Very loudly. Well, I'm glad that got to. Well, when we're away from them, I'll say, uh, I'm glad that uh, that got kind of sorted out faster than than, uh, than I could have because uh, that building was about to be on fire. Honestly, I'm surprised you sent anybody to check it all. Usually people just say that they're going to go check something for me if they won't let me through, and then I end up waiting, and then it's nighttime, and everybody's in bed, and I'm still sitting there, and it's really just not the best time. Oh, Myrtle. Poor Myrtle. Does that mean we're clear to uh, enter the Shimmer Ward? Or? Yeah, so at this point, you guys are, are able to. They, they let you pass, and... You are free to go in and uh, walk back up to Camerith Cottage, if that's what you want to do. Uh, it, there's all there's still a guard, right? There's still a guard sitting there? Uh, yeah, the there's there's four guards uh, there. Uh, two of them that you could tell were, were the ones that were stationed there, and then the other two uh, that were called over, they're still kind of standing around there at the gate. I will say to them, thank you for your extreme care in ensuring the city remains safe. Continue, walk through the gate. I mean, I say kill them with kindness, but I feel like that was a little bit of an overreach. I say I outrank them in battle and in life. Peels. Puny. They're just uh, trying to flex some muscle because they were dropouts in the little school buildings. move forward to the gun yes. okay so you guys make it to uh Camaruth cottage it's probably about uh 5 30 or so at this point maybe getting closer to six and you go in to the cottage how small do you think those guys dicks were like pretty small right <laughs> i don't I mean, know probably. i just saw a lot of compensated and so you go in, and uh, you see that uh, the older uh, dwarven owner, uh, the the elderly woman, is is there at the uh, at the gate at the, the the front desk, and she says, "Oh, he hello there! Oh, oh, you are our guests. Hi. Hello. How was your day?" Oh, you know, it was a pretty big adventure. We went and saw some zoo, and then we had to take care of some velociraptors that got out, and then we went shopping, so that was pretty good. And then we de dealt with a whole bunch of racist dudes at the entrance of this place, which was not, like, my favorite part of the day, but we got through it, so that's okay. How's your day going? Oh, um, well, it's very busy tonight. Uh, we... Uh, we have a lot of guests in for dinner. Mm. And, uh, and, and if you look, it's, uh, even though it is early, uh, you can see that the, the dining room is, is busier than it was the night before. This is the equivalent of, like, a, like a Friday night, so, um, it is, uh, a little bit busier in the dining room. And she says, well, um, 
I don't... I don't know if we have a table large enough for you. I could... I'll have to check with the girls. We don't need a table. We just need a good night's rest. I mean, like, a one might have it Convenient dinner. One of our oh, we yeah. can... We can get you dinner for your rooms, but I can check and see if we can get a table put together. I mean, even if we just, like, split up and sit at de- separate tables, it's not a big deal. You don't have to go through any effort for us. We just want to be able to sit down and eat something. I'll check with the girls. And she just kind of turns around and wanders off. Thank you. And are you guys going to wait there in the in the lobby, or...? There's a bar, right? Isn't it a bar? No, there's no bar. No. I shall do my room until we go to meet Tversky. You don't want to eat with us? They don't want us to eat with them, Myrtle. I don't know. That woman seemed really nice. She wanted to get us a table. I, I just, like, I don't see the point, in, you know, even if they don't want us here, I don't see the point in making it easy for them. The nicer you are and the more they like you, maybe they'll realize that they're just stupid. I think that uh, the sooner we can figure out um, our mission and get the fuck out of this shithole, uh, maybe the better. Yeah, I oh, agree. Oh, a thousand percent. I'm totally on board with that. But I feel like we might as well make the best of the situation right now. And I would like to eat not on the bed that eats me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, at this point, uh, she, is, she slowly shuffles back and uh, she says, they've, they've got a table, but it's a little one. I can bring out some chairs from my room, but you'll have to squeeze in. Oh, that sounds so wonderful. You've been so accommodating. Can I help pick, grab the chairs? You don't have to do it. You're like, <laughs> you, you look like you shouldn't be running up and down the stairs all the time. Oh, my room's down here. Come on, dear. You can help me. Of course. It's my pleasure. <laughs> and, uh, and, and she's so... a witch. <laughs> so nice. you you follow uh, follow her in behind the counter and there's a little hallway and you see the kitchen is down there and uh, there's another little hallway that leads off and, and it looks like there's a couple of other rooms down there a little office and uh, and she leads you into a room that's like um, if if it was a store you could call it doily city of wow. course it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, and and she goes over. And, There's some chairs over here. This one's a little large. I'll call Charlie to bring this one. Charlie, Charlie, come bring my chair out to the kitchen and and to the dining room. Then you hear uh, well, Charlie, the the teenage dwarf. Which one, Grandma? Hi, Charlie. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Still working hard, Charlie? Please please don't call me ma'am. Sorry, m- m- miss. Thank you. It just makes me feel really old. I don't like it. S- sorry. This, this, um, which one, Grandma? This one right here. It's like a big armchair. It's it's really big, and it's really not the kind of chair that should be oh, in a fancy she's dining room. Adorable. And uh, but but Charlie, like he's he's a he's a strapping young dwarf. He's plenty strong enough to carry this big chair out. And uh, there's a little uh, a stool that uh, that she has you carry, and she she grabs just like a little desk chair. And and leads you guys out and uh, kind of pushes them. There's a little four seater is all that there there is, and it's it's relatively small and and puts these these chairs all all around it. And and you guys, uh, if you go sit at them, like you're definitely encroaching on the other tables around you when you you know you, you pull out the chair and it bumps into the back of the other person's chair at the next table over. But you are able to squeeze around it if you want. Okay, I just want to, like, grab her hand before she leaves and just be like, I really, really appreciate your hospitality. You've been such a wonderful help. Thank you. Oh, 
of course, dear. We're happy to have you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And I'll take a seat. In the big okay. armchair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you are you are swimming in this armchair. This is D- the best. And, like, you guys, like, it's very clear that either Grimdor or Zilk should be the one with this chair, but... Yep. <laughs> yeah. You mean Grimdor or Nug? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Nug. Yeah, that's right. That's what I meant to say. I guess I'm like I'm like the like you know like the seven foot tall guy in an airplane you know like in the. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <it's not> <laughs> <good. laughs> we have three very large, very, yeah. very large individuals in this group. Depending on uh, depending on how it goes, I, I I would like to think that either Nug or yeah, I'm gonna say Nug. I I, I think you get the little stool. It just kind of works out that way because like you're it. in the back. Like it. It's harder for you to like weave your way <laughs> through all this, and by the time you get to the table, the little stool is the only one left. So you're kind uh, of. I'm gonna sit in it too. It. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna sit in it like cross legged too. I'm like I'm gonna like cross my leg over. You know, like, yeah. just like putting on the tiny. Yeah. That's yeah, fan art. Perfect. We need fan art for that. <laughs> I feel like I'm just picturing a member's new groove. Exactly! That's <laughs> yeah. exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> I love it. And so uh, dinner is provided. Uh, there's there's a, a wide choice. There's um, a nice uh, uh, roast beef. There's there's salads. There's breads. There's all, all kinds of uh, vegetables. It's 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 a very nice. Uh, very nice meal. I take all of the ingredients, like the different foods, and I put it on my plate really nicely, and then I just mash everything together. <laughs> like, like Thanksgiving dinner. I'm going to order a couple of beers and uh, whatever meat they have on, on the menu for the night. Oh, no. Yeah, so it's it's like a nice roast beef dinner, and uh, yeah, and and beers, wines, anything like that that you guys want. That's that's all available and provided. Do you have uh, any uh, blood gravy? Blood gravy. Do you have that, uh, Miss? Uh, blood. I can I can ask the chef. I'm sure something like that can be provided. We we do pride ourselves on our our guests get what they want okay, it's, it's where you it's where you you put the blood from the animal into the gravy do you know do you, have you heard of it before uh, i have not blood? but i have not but our our chef is well, it's, very, it's very highly trained blood. i'm sure yes. i'm sure he he can provide that and and sure enough she checks with the the chef and and he says he can do that for you it's and he does and it's beautiful. it's it's oh, quite well done nice. actually yeah uh, I uh, lap it up in the very ex- uh, I am in uh, in bliss. I am, I am in heaven. In my head, it's a nice taste of home. Yes. Sad. Are yes. you? Are you a vampire? Oh, <laughs> no, no, Morton. Uh, but have you? You have seen me in my more primal forms, have you not? I mean, yeah, but like, I don't know what's, any what's animals get... that drink blood aside from vampires. Once you get the taste for the blood, uh, sometimes it's uh, nice to to have it in this form as well. But uh, it, I, is also, I... it is also it is also pretty regular back in the shattered teeth for us to mix blood into uh, a gravy or a stew. Can can I try some? I mean, yes, if if you would like. Is you it really like a blood it. sausage? It is like a thicker red gravy. I but just not like, red, completely. It's like it's a dark, murky, like, red and black, I guess. I just take my finger and, like, take a scoop of it and, like, put it in my mouth and go... <laughs> I'd have a taste for blood now! <laughs> <laughs> I will um, just bow I my head and feed. shake it. And, and you, do, you do find it, it is, it's very well seasoned, it's rich, it does have a slightly, you know, you've you've been hit in the mouth before, you it, you, you know what blood tastes like, it has that, like, irony kind of... It but, tastes but, like what my insides taste like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, El, uh, uh, would you like to try it, uh, uh, 
Oh no, I forgot her name. Eladir? <laughs> Eladir. Eladir. That's it. I knew it was El. <laughs> yes. Eladir. Uh, Ellie. Would you like to, would you you like to call them El? Uh, uh, Ellie? El Eladir? Hey, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of blood. Uh, I, I'm alright. Are you a oh, vegetarian, Eladir? Hmm. I, I wouldn't say so. I, I know that... No, pe animals eat meat, and people are just kind of like smarter animals, maybe. Yeah, uh, eh, I wouldn't say that. Well, yeah, <laughs> definitely not guards. <laughs> Today's uh, experience might have taught differently. What, what was the deal with those guys? Why, why were they giving us such a hard time? Do you think they, they were like racist sacks of shit? Most oh. of the righteous brand are racist tax. Oh. Why does... One of the many reasons I want nothing to do with it. Yeah, that doesn't seem very good for a big organization like that. Some people just don't like other people. For no reason. I could maybe see that. Yeah, if they have. Also, I feel like, and I mean, like, I mean this in no offense to you, Doug. Um, in my experience, I guess in no offense to me either. In actually, a little bit of offense. In, in my <laughs> experience, they don't necessarily go for intelligence when they're hiring guards for a city because they're getting nope. hit in the head a lot, anyways. Nor do they educate. Those those guards are going to be there until they're leaning on their spears because they have no more bodily strength to do it. They're 70 years old, the way that it is. It's kind of sad. And fitting. But yeah, sad. But like, the best thing we can do is just be nice to everybody, and then they have no reason to hate us, except for stupid reasons, and then we can just make sure that we know who are the good people and who are the bad people. Indeed, but I really wanted to hurt those ones. If we hurt them, it doesn't make anything better. We just make a bad name for ourselves. True, but it makes you feel better. Well... I really it's like, I didn't so have cool. anything on me, but like, I really like having ball bearings on hand, and then I, while I'm walking past, just kind of throwing them under their feet, and then having them fall down, and being like, if they notice, I'm like, oh no, my bracelet broke off of my hand, what happened? We will find to get them back at some point. Yeah, and that, I have to do that. Right? Yes. yes. And then it's nobody's fault, and they just happen to fall over, because they're idiots. Plan. I also like to heat up the metal armor um, if I can do it at a safe distance without them noticing. And then they you can do that. Out. Oh, I can. Yes. Can we I, do that on our way out? I, th I think there's a few guards outside watching this place. I think we noticed before too. Well, like maybe you can have some fun with them. It. Let's just save it for people who have actually actively been hateful towards us so that we're not accidentally getting somebody like you that, like, clearly has some tolerance. Fair enough. I would have to agree, yes. This food is fantastic. I'm just, like, eating my mush. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, the... The food is is all expertly cooked. It's it's a it's a very nice meal. And uh, the chef so... would hate me to see what I'm doing to his food. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, <laughs> but why it was so well presented. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you guys finish up your meal. It's uh, getting a little bit later uh, at this quick, point. You're quick welcome question. to sit around for drinks or yeah. Because I didn't go with them, can I have asked, like, what I'd like to do is have left and had food ordered into the room and went sure. to the room, did a workout and maybe, like, a quick training montage and then had a bath? <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. Because I am feeling a little bit down on myself for not being awesome in the field of battle. Despite the fact that I took out those worms who were afraid of me and I took out the giants. 
<laughs> so yeah, so at this point, um, you guys have uh, have finished your meal and you're just kind oh, of sitting take... around, maybe having dessert, maybe having coffee. Can I take just like what's left of like on my plate, or if there was stuff on the table, just like fill up another plate so that I could bring it up because I don't know whether Grips had anything to eat. Oh yeah, yeah. Any anything, and they have been bringing you things. If if you order it, they they bring it. It's not like it's it, it's not buffet style exactly, but you you can kind of get the idea that uh, in this place, whatever you ask for, that's what you're going to get. Oh, um, you also get the idea that if you were paying for this, it would not be in any way cheap. It would be very, very expensive. Yeah, that's not about right. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that I get a whole other plate for Grim just in case. And also, I want to get him a dessert. Baby two, he's big. Baby three. <laughs> yeah, sure. There's, there's, there's uh, a, a few. There's apple pie and uh, and uh, there's a there's a chocolate mousse, things like that. I want one of everything, and then again, <laughs> one of everything. Yep. Lots, lots of dessert. Uh, they, they, because everyone's kind of, they end up bringing just like a full pie and a full, <laughs> fully made mousse. So, and and dishes, so you guys can serve out and, and have as much as you want. Oh God, it's want it's kind of like, now. it's kind of like at uh, at the restaurants where uh, once you order enough of the pop refills, they just bring a pitcher or two, so yeah, they don't have yeah. to keep coming. It's the same kind of idea there. It's mostly when the server's gotten really annoyed with you at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. Uh, now these guys, you like, they're they're doing a damn. If they're annoyed, they're doing a damn good job of of hiding. Oh yeah, no, the table never knows that the server's annoyed. Yeah. You can just tell by the actions. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. And so yeah, Grimdor, you can come back down at this point if you want. Everyone's just kind of sipping at their their drinks and picking away at what's left of their desserts. I'm gonna I'm gonna stand at the door. And you guys let me know whose eye I catch. Grab! Grab, I got you some food! Grab! This was not, this was not the eye that I wanted. <laughs> and as Sven would absolutely have noticed you as well as soon as you came down. Yes. You would have heard your heart beat. Sneaky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm making a scene. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to like motion to come out to Sven. I'm going to politely nod at at Myrtle, but I'm going to motion with my head to. I will. I will walk over to uh, to Grim and uh, see what he is. He, he would like. And as you as you stand up and you you pull your chair out, it bangs into the uh, the, the chair uh, of the the person standing uh, sitting behind you. It's uh, uh, it's a high elf, uh, very finely dressed. He's he's there with uh, with a woman, presumably his wife. Kind of my, uh, my turns around and uh, gives you a dirty look. Oh, so my apologies. Uh, make sure you try the, the blood gravy. It's uh, very good here. He shakes his head. Thank you. I'll be here all night. <laughs> Can't okay, you make your way up to Grimdor? I, hate I, I just <laughs> mutter to myself, I fucking hate this place. Uh, as I walk towards Grimdor. <laughs> Sven. We must get yes. moving out of this place, because I fucking hate this place. Well, uh, I fucking hate it too, so I am completely in agreement with you. Uh, I think maybe something more our speed, uh, once we are finished, our uh, meetings more would be other A, to leave the city and, and go try and find uh, Myrtle's mother. Uh, or we could just simply go to maybe the, the less uh, posh neighborhoods and and uh, stay at an inn or, or something like that down there. At, at this point, it is so uncomfortable here with everything else around, I, I really don't care about paying for, for something. Affirmative. I believe that is the best course of action and that maybe we should seek uh, some sort of mounts to move more quickly on our journeys. I think that might be a good idea, yes. Um, yes, okay. Uh, is there anything you had to do in this in this city uh, that we did not know about or that we uh, haven't been receptive of? I know it's been quite a busy time and, and I've got to do some things that I wanted to do. Um, 
is there something that you uh, are looking for or interested in doing yourself? You, you have further to do? No, I don't have anything further to oh. do. I, I'm just asking if you do. I, other than this chainmail is loud as hell. I could possibly use something on our journey, but uh, no, I'm ready to leave. And the okay. sooner the better. Great, yes. Uh, then we will stay tonight and make our way elsewhere Down. Uh, in this morning. In the, in the, in the town morning. Well, with that, I will make my way downtown. <laughs> I will make my way to my room and please keep an eye on Myrtle. She is such a precious soul. Uh, yes, I will keep an eye on the little annoying person, I guess. Well, I'm, very just nice. kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, she is fine. I have no problems with her, except for her going into bear cages. But, but I did spend yes. talk for I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. I will look after her all the same. She is part of the group and part of our family. And then I will. Uh, then I will just kind of sneak away, sneak away without really saying goodnight to anybody. But I will go back to my room. You know you're a big seven-foot lizard person. It's you're very easy to see walk away. Yeah, I 100 percent so. Okay. <laughs> I am okay, the knight. knight. I am the knight. <laughs> clump, clump. <laughs> uh, he sounds. He sounds like a okay, big have... bag of coins. <laughs> okay. Good night. <laughs> um, yes. Good. Night. Uh, before we leave. Uh, I do want to take the plate of food with me with all the desserts and everything, but like before we leave, can I just approach the I never got the old woman's name, did I? Um, I don't know if you did. Okay, I just wanna go up to her and I I just wanna be like, Hey, I I'm so sorry, I never got your name. Oh you didn't? My name is Mrs. Cameruth. Mrs. This is Cameruth. My this is my family's cottage. You have a very lovely family cottage, Mrs. Cabaruth. I'm very pleased to meet you. My name is Thurnall, and I was just wondering if you would mind if I borrowed that giant chair of yours for, for the night, if that's okay with you, if you don't need to use it for anything. Oh, you, yes, you can borrow it. Do you mind if I borrow your, uh, your grandson to carry it up to my room? Is that Charlie! okay? Charlie! 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, Grandma. Uh, I was just gonna go out with my friends. What, what do you need? Can I can I just get you to bring that big comfy chair up to my room? Do you mind? Is that okay? Charlie, take the chair up to this young lady's room. Her name is Myrtle. Fine. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Right this way, miss. I'm just going to follow him up the stairs with the chair. Okay. And he grabs it and he, and he's like, he's strong enough to, uh, to carry it. No problem. But he's not really the most dexterous kid. And he's like kind of bumping into people. So sorry, sir. (laughs) Does he lurch? (laughs) So- <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he he makes his way uh, through the dining room with it, and uh, everybody's giving him as many dirty looks as you guys are getting, and and he yeah, carries right. it upstairs and gets gets it up a- a- to your room. Um, has has a little bit of uh, trouble trying to fit it through the door. It's pretty wide. Uh, eventually, he figures out he has to to pivot, and uh, he gets it in there, and uh, and, and pivot, <laughs> pivot, pivot, and uh, and yeah. So uh, you have the chair in your okay. room. Okay, and I'm just gonna be like, thank you so much, Charlie. I really appreciate it. Now be careful with these because they're dangerous if you're not careful. And I just like hand him five caltrops. <laughs> what, what what do they do? 
So they're like, if you kind of want to like play a mini prank on somebody or something, or like if somebody bad is chasing you, like mostly just use them for protection. Cause like that's, that's really, pranks are, are not fun when they hurt people. But if like you're being chased by somebody and you need to kind of slow them down a little bit, just throw them down and somebody will step on them and it won't be that. He kind of thinks for a minute and you can kind of see the, the, the gears turning in his head and he starts to chuckle a little bit and he goes, <laughs> I'm going to put him on my brother's chair and stick him in his ass. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I'm regretting my decision. I have a suggestion. If you wanted to fuck with the guards a little bit, I wouldn't be mad about that. Just saying. <laughs> Oh, my grandma will get mad at me. That's fair. You know what? Your grandma's really nice. You don't want her mad at you. Well, figure out, like, don't hurt anybody, but, you know, figure out something I'm gonna fine. go hurt my brother. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, okay, lady. I'm fully regretting my decision now, but that's and he okay. Goes off I with them. My chair. I'm just gonna, before <laughs> I go into my room to go to bed, I just want to, like, carefully put the plate down in, in front of Grim's door, because he didn't seem like he wanted to talk to anybody, even though I tried to get his attention real hard, but, you know, maybe he just didn't hear me, and then I'm gonna go <laughs> to my room. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna knock on the door or anything? Or? No, I'm just gonna, like, put it out, and just, I just want to make sure that he gets food, even if he might have already. And I'm going to set up all the blankets on the chair so I don't die. I assume that's what was happening. <laughs> yep. Okay, so Grimdor is in his room uh, getting ready for bed. Myrtle's doing the same thing. Uh, Eladir? Uh, I'm probably just have like a bit of food and then probably just go up to my room with everyone else is like tying up for the night. Yep, kind of seems that way. And Zilk? Zilch is uh, gonna finish his smoke and then head to my quarters. Do you ever finish Whoa. your smoke? So are you staying in the cottage or are you, cause you do have a room key that uh, uh, that Mrs. Camruth gave you in the morning. Uh, you have a room there if you want it or you can head back to the Cobalt Soul. Uh oh. Um, no, you know what? I'll stay in the cottage this evening. Yep. Okay. So yeah, you go in and uh, and and up to your room. So you have one of the rooms that's facing out onto uh, uh, a garden. Uh, there's uh, French doors that open up onto a very very tiny uh, balcony, uh, and uh, yours is facing out into a garden that's beside the cottage. Also on the same side as you is uh, uh, Sven uh, and Eladir. Um, so the way I'm picturing it is um, uh, Eladir first and then Sven uh, and then Zilch's room. And then on the other side, we've got Myrtle's room first, then Grimdor's room, uh, and then Nug's room after that. And those three rooms face out towards uh, the, the castle and the spires behind them. Uh, well, I'm in my, my room. I'm going to uh, start reading the, those two books that uh, Myrtle got me. Okay, perfect. And is anyone else doing anything this evening in the room? Or anywhere else? Yeah, I'm just going to sleep. Yeah, I'm not doing... Uh, yeah. Okay. So that everyone... exactly uh... like what I think Myrtle does when she sleeps. Yep. Why are you always like play characters that sleep really loudly? Mm -hmm. Or weirdly! Because <laughs> generally I'm just going for the comedic value of it. <laughs> That's fair. Fair enough. So you guys all uh, all go to sleep. Uh, Eladir, you go into your, your sleep-like uh, trance. And um, I will get uh, Eladir and Sven to make a perception check at disadvantage because you're you're in your trance so you're not wide awake and uh, Sven you can hear a cricket fart across the room so <laughs> <laughs> crickets uh, it's a nine at disadvantage a nine I and I don't know why I didn't roll two roll. things you got a ten a nine out of ten okay so, um, you guys are all sleeping. Um, 
and uh, and then you are all awakened to the sound of glass breaking. Ah! Ah! What the hell was that? And I'm gonna like pull myself out of the chair because it's still a challenge. <laughs> and <laughs> I go to my door and like look outside and see if anybody else has gotten up. I'll get up. It was Who outside. hears the glass? Does everybody, everybody hear the glass? Or everyone hears the glass? Like, yeah. Does it All sound right. like it came from like one of the rooms upstairs? Or um, make uh, ever? What well, doesn't everybody make a perception check here? Another one. Yeah, uh, even uh, Sven and Eladir, okay. you guys can make these ones regular. Everyone I make got a, a natural twenty. Ooh, I actually got a good roll. You got thirteen. Okay. We're currently half asleep. Uh, thirteen as well. I got a fuck and... off. Okay, so uh, Grimdor and Myrtle, uh, you guys actually do hear uh, that it sounds like it, uh, it was on the lower floor, right down underneath where your rooms are, uh, okay. which would be which would be the uh, near the the front entrance way. Uh, okay. the, the front foyer. I'm immediately going stealth mode and, like, making my way down the stairs. Making my way down the stairs. Okay. So Walk it's probably stone, around... I'm in stealth mode. Da -da. It's probably Wait, around my... two or three in the morning. Okay. I'm going to put my armor on while, before I do anything. Okay. And uh, for what it's worth, I don't know what you guys have still used and not. I would count that as you guys have had a short rest at this point, uh, since your uh, encounter uh, with the Velociraptors, but you have not yet had one rest. All right. <laughs> but anything that you bought, you would be attuned to at this point. All right. Do I, uh, okay, do so I Myrtle, any, any I'm sneaking. Sorry, yeah, she's oh. sneaking. I'm, I'm busting yeah. open the door, looking for the sound, the direction of the sound. You said it's downstairs. Um, yeah, I, I assume I've grabbed all my weapons at this point. And do yep, I everybody see can Myrtle? do that. Uh, well, so Myrtle, uh, why don't you make a stealth check? Which I get with advantage. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hold on. And Sven, I believe you had a question there. I got a twenty-three. Uh, twenty-three. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what uh, did I find? Anything interesting in the books that I read? So so far, it's um, you haven't got, had a chance to get through both of them yet. So uh, any any common uh, animal that would be found in. Uh, like a farm livestock kind of situation or common animals in the woods. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I think there's a Xanathar's like list of like forest creatures that you could probably just use. Oh, they perfect. Yeah, cool. that, that would be perfect. They split up yeah. between like different biomes. So. Yeah. And yeah, my if, mic if it's muted, I think. So I'm literally just running my full movement down 90 feet or whatever. So you don't necessarily know where it came from. Oh, I didn't but, hear anything? No. Well, you heard that there was breaking glass, but you don't know where it came from. All right, then I'll come um, out my door and see where everyone else goes. Yeah, and you come out your door around the same time as Grimdor, who did hear it, and you yeah. see him booking it down the stairs. All right. So no, you I'll... can definitely follow Grimdor with that. Yeah. You know, I'll, don't, uh, don't no. worry about stealthing or anything. Nope. <laughs> no. Yeah, I just think and Grimdor, unknowingly. Like, I'm wearing chainmail. I can't stealth. I yeah, feel like you, they're gonna step same, on me because yeah. I'm so stealthy. Well, you're you're kind of uh, up against the wall, uh, somewhat underneath the 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 banister, uh, and and they go rushing past you, not realizing that you're there because it's it's dark. It's this is the middle of the night, so yeah. Um, I'm, it's, I'm it's doing pretty one of those, just like staring staring blankly into space, like I'm. Uh, Jim on the office, just looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Breaking the third wall. Like, what Fourth the fuck wall? was the point of that? Fourth wall. <laughs> I'm going already, to uh, like, make my way wall. downstairs as well. Uh, once I have my arm on. Okay. Uh, Illidir, you had a question? Yeah, I was gonna, like, pop my head out the door see what was going on. Are there any, like, torches, like, lit? 
Uh, down at the very far end of the hall, the, so at one end of the hall is the stairs leading down, and at the far opposite end is the the big sort of communal washroom, and there is a, a magical uh, light above that. So it's it's dim light in there, uh, yeah. down at the far end. Yeah. Okay, yeah, just I'll probably for... just pack my head out and then follow where everyone's going. Also, just for the record, I don't sleep with my armor on, but I do sleep with my jewelry and my uh, my uh, dagger on me at all, just because I've gotten used to that. Yep, no problem. And uh, we are still missing Zilch. What what are you doing, Zilch? Uh, so I rolled a eleven for perception. So I heard glass breaking, and then what else? Uh, you heard glass breaking, and you maybe can can hear the commotion of of other people getting up and, and doing something, uh, but you didn't hear where it came from. Uh, you know what? But you can, if you peeked your head out the door, you would see uh, Nug and Grimdor uh, running down the hall kind of okay. heading down towards the downstairs uh, and then shortly after that Eladir is kind of uh, poking their head out the door and Sven uh, is following behind as well with his run on. <clears throat> so I wouldn't necessarily poke my head out but I'm sure I would hear running down the hallway and that would me on alerts. Um, I don't wear armor but uh, I will certainly grab my um, my shit and prepare for combat and Based on how many actions and movement I have, I suppose I would get out of the room and just kind of slowly, if someone walks past me, I'd ask for a word, what do you know, what's going on, and such. But I would take the time to prepare for combat. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys uh, head downstairs, uh, and it is dark down there. And um, let's do let's do another perception check for... Uh, anyone who's downstairs at this point. Oh, I baby, look nine. at them rolls. Oh, shiny. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, oh doing God. thing. Zilch isn't downstairs yet, so I'll just kind of... I'm just kind of taking my... I'm not... blurted. Also, whatever, kinda... whatever it happens that I just, like, that I make it to wherever... Uh, yeah, you could be down here at this point, too. I want to just, like, come up behind them and be like... What you guys looking at? Because you <laughs> didn't know I was there at all. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Grimdor uh, and uh, Nug are down there first. Grimdor is down there first, and, and he's kind of blocking Nug's way. He doesn't quite see it, but Sven coming around, he, he sees it, because, uh, again, he can see everything. Uh, <laughs> there is... <laughs> Uh, there is broken glass. One of the hey, side bro. windows, uh, one of the side windows beside the main front door, uh, seems to be smashed inward. Uh, and there's a uh, and there's a brick laying in the in the foyer. Mm, Myrtle, where's Myrtle? It's, right it's, uh, here. I'm like something... literally like right behind me, like or right behind you. Like I'm <laughs> almost touching you. I'm so close <laughs> behind you. Get your hand off my. Door. Right here. How long would you say it's been since the uh, the the noise? Um, it's probably been about close to thirty seconds at this point. Okay, I will uh, look at the brick. Is there any writing or is there a note on it or something like that? Just just looks like a plain red brick. Okay, I am going to run to the window and I am going to jump out it and uh, go into my uh, owl shape. And uh, oh, damn, that's cool. see and encircle encircle the area and uh, see if I find anybody running away or or that might look um, Rika. guilty okay. or you know you know what I mean. Yep. Yep. I'm gonna cast yep. a spell at the same time. Okay, uh, let's yeah, you're detect evil. So <laughs> anyone with ill intent, 120. Yeah. Also, just for the record, you guys almost fucking killed me. Stairs. I'm just saying. Now's Sorry. not the time, Myrtle. Where's Eladir? I don't Elidir, know. Eladir is coming down the <laughs> stairs. Uh, they're they're kind of the last one, aside from Zilk. They're they're the last one uh, down the stairs. Uh, the um, I'm going to say quickly just before, as you guys are doing this in unison, I'm going to say to Myrtle and Eladir, find us a back way out. It's uh. 
What's I have a sneaking coast, suspicion though? I know what's happening here. Just call it, uh, you know, intuition. Just call it uh, uh, a, lifelong, a lifelong life of dealing with racism. Yeah, no, no, I'm picking up what you're putting down here, bro. Oh, yeah. Tell me about um, it. So, uh, <laughs> did I see, when I went to the back to, like, grab the chairs or anything, did I see any other way out of the building? Um, there, there was, there was a, a back door down, uh, be between the kitchen, uh, and the, the hallway that led down to okay. the owner's room. I'm just and gonna, like, point and be like, it's over there, but, like, also the front door looks just fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to hijack the offensive moves that were happening here, so. <laughs> that's, that's okay. Well, uh, so, first of all, uh, I'll, I'll deal with the detect evil. Uh, you don't de detect anything. All right. At this it's up point. for 10 minutes, too, FYI. Up for 10 minutes? Okay. That's good to no know. No concentration. Perfect. Uh, and Sven, so you turn into your owl form, uh, and you, you start to fly up. Make a, a owl perception check. I have, I have advantage on this, too. Perfect. Uh, I just scared the dog. Go back. So just make an owl noise? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was kind of that. It was me. Oh, thank you. You know, I can do a pigeon, I can do an owl, and that's about it. I can do one, too. Oh, and, a ter and a pterodactyl. <laughs> Did you hear that? It was. Uh, yeah, it was terrible and loud. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm just going to keep it on repeat. Come on. Did that it hurt roll? my brain. 23. There we go. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so uh, what you see, uh, any direction in particular that you're you're heading? Uh, it would be, uh, well, I'd be looking for footprints near the near the window, if I could see something that looked like uh, someone planted and pivoted in through the brick, because that would, have, that would leave a distinct uh, pivot mark in, in Sounds like you've uh, thrown a brick before. <laughs> I've thrown things. I've, I've thrown things before. There's some heft behind <laughs> it, and then where that might be running off to afterwards. Yeah. So I mean, there is a yard, but there is also a uh, a wide uh, cobblestone walk uh, heading up from the road to the entrance to the cottage. Uh, you don't see any footprints in in the dirt. Um, as you fly up there. Uh, there is a bit of uh, movement uh, down towards the guard area that you uh, that you came from, down towards the gate. Mm -hmm. Can't really okay. tell what is it's it's a couple of hundred feet away from you at this point. So um, yeah, I mean you can see that there's there's humanoids moving around, but they're just kind of there. Oh shit on is them! There other, is there any other? any other humanoids uh, in the area? So the, the, this this general vicinity, I, I would probably know the you know how a lot, how far someone could get in thirty seconds or forty five seconds at this point. Yep. Uh, um. So, so in that kind of range, you'd kind of do a uh, a circle around, uh, and you're able to to get close up to uh, to where the castle gates are. You notice that there is around the castle. There's another uh, set of walls around the castle area, uh, and you can see some people inside those gates. That looks like uh, looks like some guards kind of patrolling around inside those gates near the castle. But no, it's uh, no other people. Okay, uh, I will go, I will do another flyby past the uh, initial guard gate that we came in, and I will shit on the guards <laughs> as, I, as I fly by. Okay, um, make a ranged attack. Yes. Internet fist uh, bomb, by the way. Internet fist. Thank you. I don't know what I would have as an add-on to the ranged attack. Uh, uh, the dex, I guess. Dex. Okay, plus two. So I'll just roll d twenty plus two. Um, yeah, that works. Yes. Nice. 18. Yeah. It. Uh, um, so so you. Unnatural twenty. 
it uh, it hits one of them uh, right in the shoulder. Be, okay. So just just Fuck. remember that I'm a giant. I'm a I'm a I'm a giant eagle. So yeah, it it quite, quite it splatters right down his arm. <laughs> um, like, he starts like looking around, like, what the fuck was that? I feel very, I feel very validated in what I've done, and I will. Uh, and you can tell that somewhere. the other guard that's near him, it like starts pointing and laughing at him. <laughs> and he like tries to like flick the shit over at his, oh. his buddy. Oh, perfect. All right, so I feel validated. I will. I'm going to fly back to the cottage uh, after just doing one quick. I like it. I'm going to circle for a, for a good probably five minutes. And just do it again. Um. Yeah. Okay, so well, you're going to circle for like five minutes. Have. Yeah, about that. Yes. Uh, okay. And then and then make my way back to the cottage. Okay. I just want so to see if there's anybody like looking like they're running or. Uh, it's suspicious, I guess. It, it's a it's a brick through a window, so there's not much I can really do here. But um, I assume it was probably one of the gods, and so I shit on them. Okay. Uh, so what are you guys, the rest of you, doing while Sven is flying around? So Zilch, I suppose, walked down and asked, "What's all the commotion about?" And I want to go and check out the brick in the window. I realize I've been trying to say something for the past five minutes, and uh, I've been on mute. <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah, so uh, anybody say something to Zilch? Tell him what's going on. Is Zilch I upstairs? No. no, he's come uh, down I now. Came, I, came, I came downstairs. Yeah, then They're I will... Uh, <clears throat> Zilch, help them find a back way out. We've got the front. What are you talking about? What's... What's all this commotion about? It's about to get hairy real fast. If memory that doesn't serves me right. There's glass. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna turn around and say, "There's a brick on the ground, and the glass fell in." So, take a guess, and then I'm gonna run downstairs and go outside. Okay. So someone threw a brick in the window, and we're upset about that. And I'm gonna yell, "Winning!" as I'm running down. <sighs> I'm gonna take a seat down in the chair and kind of sit here and wait. Can I go back to bed now? Um, <laughs> so, Myrtle, you were going to check out the brick in the glass? Yeah, I kind of want to investigate it. Maybe, like, see if there's anything on the brick or, like, maybe, yeah, you know, definitely. anything do, that's... Do an investigation check. You guys, I am so good at investigating. <laughs> and I'm oh, rolling I see what's going on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got a 16. Sorry, 17. Damn, I was really hoping I could use the other thing to, like, have you cut yourself on the glass. <laughs> well, that's not embarrassing. It says embarrassing. Well, anyway. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you, you tiptoe your way through this uh, shattered glass, and um, the, the brick has just kind of, it, it looks like it's it's bounced off of the, the front uh, front desk. Uh, you do see a little bit of a, a dent in there. Um, and at this point, uh, the, the the manager woman that uh, that you met the, the first time, uh, she has come oh, out. No. Uh, and she says, what are you all doing in here? What's somebody, going on? Somebody threw a brick through your window. We're under threw, attack. You threw a brick through the window? No, no, no. Somebody on the outside. We were asleep, lady. We just... Get... We oh. heard something crash, and we wanted to come and check it out just to make sure you weren't getting robbed, because, you know, the odor is really nice. Oh, oh, goodness. Um, oh, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I should go get the guards. I mean, they're not terribly nice either. Yes, um, affirmative. So that is the right thing to do. So around this time, Nug, you uh, you've gone outside, um, and what you see when you get out there is written all over the side of the wall. Is there is graffiti? It's most of it looks like uh, stick figures, uh, but it looks like they're being stabbed. Some of them looks like they're they've been beheaded. 
Uh, most of them are pretty basic. Uh, some of them it looks like they've spent a little bit of time on, and uh, the, the two most recognizable ones, one's quite large and, and one's quite small. And uh, written uh, across the, uh, the side of the, the building in, in big letters is Die Crick Die. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go back in and get uh, Grimdor. Come and take a look. Oh, good. I will come out with him, and I will look at it, and I will look at Nug, and I'll lick my lips, and I will tighten my jaw, and I will say, don't let the young ones see this. We'll leave them even have lips? Hey, don't, don't be racist. <laughs> it's not racist, you're a dragon! <laughs> I assume Friends I have a snake tongue. I'm still staring I'm still staring at this brick with an intensity that says, like, I think this is the answer to all of the questions. <laughs> it's not a it's not a chair, come on. Oh wow. <laughs> um no, does anyone know? A magic to remove that easily. If not, I'm not. I will spend the rest of the night cleaning it off. I wouldn't worry about it. I would just leave it there. I'm worried about Myrtle and Elodid. I. They're grown up enough to understand. Don't worry about that. They know. Yeah, you know, I, had, I already know. Killing them from this me. is going to help them. Also, I, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, but I think we established that uh, naive as they are, Eladir is actually the oldest person in the group. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I will. Sorry, just as, a, oh, as we have a break in talking here, uh, I will try and, because of my, my perception as an owl, uh, I want to land somewhere. Close to the guard shack, that's out of the way, um, and see if I can listen and, and hear them talking or eavesdrop on what they might be talking about. Okay. Um. Yeah, you. Uh, uh, how how close are you getting? Uh, just give me a second here. Um, passive perception. I have a plus flyby. Uh, I'm going to get uh, probably within. Well, what's what? I would I would look for a building that's a little higher than than where they are, and, and see if I can land without Owls causing too much commotion. Silently, don't they? You could probably just perch on top yeah, of the building. Yeah, I, I have. But he's a good giant stealth. owl. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they're not I'm looking up, though. It's I'm not that tall of a building. Out. That's fair. Okay. Yeah. It's only like like ten feet tall, so one story building. So gotcha. he's like huge. So that's fair. Um, you could there. I mean, uh, you, you could find another building not too far away, probably eh, thirty feet away or so. I'll get you to make a stealth check if that's where you want to go. Yep, that's what I'll do. Eighteen. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you you land and nobody seems to turn around and, and see. Um, I think I think it was a thirteen uh, DM. Oh, it was a thirteen. Oh, I was looking at. Yeah. Okay. Thirteen. I'll I'll I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of them kind of. What the fuck was that? The other, one, uh, the other one says, uh, it's probably whatever shit on you. Uh, I will... Uh, uh, you know what? I will... You could just scare the living daylights out of them and transform back. I think he wants I, I had a... Uh, I want to spy. Uh, you know what? So how high up is the building that I'm in? Is uh, a way down from there. 
Uh, I mean, you're on a, a two-story building, so it's probably 20, right. 25 feet high. Okay, I will... Um, is there a ladder down? Or is there a way I can get down? Uh, I... It doesn't look like it. It's not... Yeah. It's 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 a relatively steep peak to the uh, to the roof as well. You'd have no trouble sitting on it, but but climbing down from it um, would be, I mean, not impossible. Okay. But yeah. Okay, I am going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to quickly fly down into an alley and uh, and revert back to my human form. Okay. And then I will um, wild shape into. Uh, sorry, just give me a second here. Uh, let's do a cat. I will wild shape into a cat, okay. and uh, and just and and walk towards the. Uh, or around or towards the shack, uh, not to cause much attention to myself, but just to see if I can uh, ease up some more. Okay. Um, if you are, are you trying to stay hidden? Um, I guess for the sake of this, yes. But uh, a cat, I generally don't think would cause for too much concern. Um, yeah, probably but not. Just for the for the moment, yeah. Uh, go ahead and yeah, do I'll, 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 I'll try and stealth on that. Okay, just give me a second here. Just trying to find the cat. Cat 5e. He's in the room with me. The cat? <laughs> yes. We have two. <laughs> cat monsters to DNA. Well, you're looking that up. Uh, back over at the cottage. Is anyone doing anything over there? Eladir or Zil? Sure. Anyone else? I think still just gonna go back to bed. I found something to poke the brick with. There we go. Okay, so you grab yeah. like maybe uh, maybe an umbrella out of an umbrella stand. And... Yeah, and I'm like trying to flip it over without touching it because you don't want to disturb the evidence. <laughs> okay. And that was a uh, seven. On the, or sorry, eleven on the stealth roll. An eleven. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you you take it and you're able to to flip it over and kind of thunks and lands and cracks a, a piece of the glass that's beside it. And uh, the the manager woman is uh, standing there. What are you doing? We... You need we to need leave to... the room. We're conducting an investigation here. Oh, you're just goodness. going to, you're, we're going to ruin the evidence. Oh, for well, goodness sakes. And she, she kind of storms off towards the back. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, if you're in the oh, foyer, yeah. Quite loud. <laughs> I, I think I'm outside. Would I've heard that the manager or whatever came back? Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, probably. Uh, the door. I assume unless you close the door, it's all kind of right there. Plus the windows open. Yeah, the windows open. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then I'm gonna come in as I hear Myrtle and the manager talking. Uh, excuse, um, excuse, excuse me. Um, uh, what, what's going on out there? <clears throat> please follow me for a uh, minute. Uh, no, uh, Myrtle, you stay there. Myrtle, it's a, I, uh, please keep, keep investigating that brick. That's uh, that could be something. I mean, like I've been staring at it for like twenty minutes. I just like shake my head. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and so she, uh, the the <laughs> the manager, uh, steps her way through um, through the glass and uh, goes out there with you. Yeah, and. Uh, I guess I would turn a point to the graffiti and say, <clears throat> clearly we are not wanted here. We will oh, make our way goodness. in the morning. If there's anything we could do to remedy this situation, please let us know. Otherwise, uh, I will spend oh, the night to try is... to clean this. Um, um, uh, I can, uh, I can have the boys take care of it in the morning. Uh, we. You are valued guests of the crown. Uh, that's that's not at all necessary. Uh, go back to your rooms. I'll I'll have the boys take care of this. Just for the record, she was the one that wasn't very nice to us. No, I know she's <laughs> real. So, if you want, you can make an insight check. 
who, me or her? Uh, I'm not there. You told me to stay with the fucking oh, yeah. brick. Um, yeah, I'm, make, uh, go ahead. Okay. Grimdor, make an insight check. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Nug's out there, too. Yeah, Nug, uh, you can tell that she's really not happy about this, but she is doing her job to officially be polite here about <laughs> this, but yeah, it's, I wanna, it's waning. I want to ask her, Are you so are you going to call the guards, or? The guards will need to be called um, in, in the morning, in the morning. Well, you will be long gone. Thank you. And thank you for your, your discretion. Hmm. She goes, uh, she goes back inside towards the back, and you see a couple of lights light up down the back hallway. Myrtle. What? Uh, we've been given the go-ahead to return to sleep. I think we should get as much rest as possible. We have to leave early in the morning. Okay, did you find anything outside? Where'd Sven mm, go? Nothing of value. Sven is doing recon. He'll return to us later. There's some art. God oh, my cut art! I like no. art to go outside. You son of a... <laughs> There's a big-ass smile on my face. It's like art. Oh. It's not very good, though. He's calling the broken glass art. This is... I don't know. I feel like they captured Grimm's like this really well. Look how tall it is. <laughs> Everyone, right? Bed, it's please. like it's totally fine. They did a really, really good, good job. I'm gonna go to bed now, and I just go to bed. And 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 I will point out that yeah, there is uh, the, the really big one uh, was was more looking like Nug, but there is one that uh, that does kind of look vaguely lizardy, um, but. You will also note uh, that it does, it has a tail. Uh huh. I mean, what? Fucking racist. Not every dragonborn has a fucking tail. Well, I I don't. I know you don't. Oh, okay. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. Gotcha. Yeah, they don't. Yeah. Mine was taken off in sleep, though. Oh, you had a tail. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, all dragonborns are bored with tails. Sure, we'll oh. that tail Sorry, I'm saying this out of character because I'm gone, but... I whip my tail back and forth. <laughs> oh. Oh, I feel like that song's going to be a sore, sore spot for you. <laughs> I'm going to, like, stay outside and wait for Ben to come back. So I'm, just gonna... uh, okay. yeah, so I'm, I'm just trying to shoo everyone to bed. Zilch is gone. Eladir, I'm, I don't know what you're doing right now. By the way, my bedroom door is locked, and if you happen to pass by my door on the way to your room, you can hear crying. Just saying. Uh-oh. Eladir, where are you? Would I be able to hear the crying in from her room? Make a perception check. Uh, you are literally, you are uh, the farthest room away from hers. Okay, never That'd mind. That would be really that. impressive. Yep, never mind. You're, you're across the hall and, and like, at the opposite okay. end of the room. Oh, again, have you if, heard her if her room was next to mine, then that's okay. Oh, no. Yeah. She would be actively trying to cry as quietly as possible. Gr Grimdor's room is... Grimdor is uh, right next to uh, Myrtle. And Sven would be across, uh, across the hall. Oh, Eladir's typing, but I don't hear. Him. I think so, like the more likely thing with Rose oh, crying is, is like you would, you wouldn't necessarily hear the crying because she's trying to keep it quiet. But all you'll hear is like big sniffs, like like yeah. crying you don't hear, but like L lots of snot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like a stealth cry. The, they go the hand in hand with the story because you know my nose is so nasal or my voice is so nasally. So clearly there's some sinus issues going on. Um, for the sake of the story, can we say that I I kind of shooed Eladir back to her room? That means Eladir, Zilch, and Myrtle are all yeah. back in room. Yeah, sure. Okay, and then I will come back in and uh, check in with Nug. <clears throat> okay. uh, so let's sorry. let's let's quickly pop over and see what uh, Sven the cat is is up to. Uh, Sven, did you 
You did a, uh, a stealth for the cat, and... Uh, yes, it was a uh, 11. Okay. Um, so you start walking up, and the guys are just kind of standing around, eating on their spears, and one guy, uh, guy goes, hey, look, it's a fucking cat. Try to hit it. Oh, they're animal abusers too? I'm going to look at, at the one that says that, and I'm going to mind tank with him. And I'm going to say, I am a talking cat, but no one would believe you. <laughs> that was smart. That was good. That was good. It's like, the fuck? A cat just fucking talk to me. It's not very nice for you to try and throw things at me. I'm just here trying to live my life and and uh, and find some mouses to eat. Some mouses that would not get into your shack and fuck with your things. And you're trying to hit me. The other guy, uh, the other guy says to him, fuck off, it did, and chucks his spear at you. That's a 16 to hit. What is the AC for a cat? Oh, I like it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hit. Cat AC is 12. 12. And how many hit oh, points no. does a cat have? Oh. Two hit points. Oh, okay. no! So you take seven <laughs> piercing damage and revert back oh, into your fine. Sven form. Oh, it was almost so good. The, du the dudes rolled a 20 so and an 18 good. on their perception to see that cat. Oh, you fuckers. Uh, okay. Um, well. <laughs> hey! The fuck? It's that guy from I'm before. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to turn around and, and turn into a uh, uh something bigger. Uh, I can't turn into a flying. I can't turn into anything that flies. Um, Twat. Yes. <laughs> Too late. Fuck! 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 fuck. Uh, I will turn into a, a, a dire wolf. Yes, a dire wolf, and and oh, no. run away. Oh, no. And run away. Yes. Okay. You guys are like, what the fuck is wrong with them? And the other one shouts out, uh, You assholes got what you deserved! Okay. Uh, so once I believe it's been enough time for uh, them to have just kind of stay, Are they staying at their post? They're not coming after anybody? Yeah, these are. There's only okay. two of them, and they have to guard that thing, so they don't seem to be following uh, you. Do I kill them? No. <laughs> uh, okay, I am going to move back towards the uh, cottage. But uh, you said it's quite close to that tower, right? It's really not that far. It's maybe yes. Yeah, three hundred feet away. So I'm going to get to a point where I can see the cottage uh, hiding from the two men. Like, I'm, I'm a distance away that would be around 60 feet. Okay. And uh, and then I will create bonfire on the roof of the cottage, of the, uh, of the little god tower. Oh, shit. Okay. Can you do... So you've reverted and, uh, from your direwolf form? Yes, but I am not, like, you can't see me. I'm basically just peeking around a corner and casting and then walking back towards the cottage. Nonchalantly. Okay. I feel like you just became this campaign's peg. <laughs> <laughs> um, and a peg that does as, for reasons. Uh, <laughs> as soon as that happens, um, a, a couple of people uh, come running out from the... Uh, uh, from the little the little shack or, or guard uh, guard house, uh, yeah, at this they point start I shouting and okay, so you don't see what goes on then. Okay. I don't no no, okay. I just wanted to fuck with them. Fair enough. Uh, I will. So get you get back to the, the, cottage, to the cottage now, cottage. and uh, Nuggin and and Grimdor are still uh, uh, standing outside. I think they're waiting for you to come back. Uh, I would say it might be a good idea for us to get on the move and uh, leave this this place. Roger that. I'll go. I'll go the, gather the group. <laughs> Words. 
and I'm gonna run inside and go get Myrtle and Eladir and Zilch. I'm just gonna bang on the doors really loudly. Time to go! I'm uh, sleeping, you can't go out! It's what time now? to go! Why? Why? What now? Proverbial fans and shits! You just like see Myrtle like slowly open the door and like she's clearly like rubbing her face trying to like clear her eyes out, but like she has mostly black eyes, but like her like the pinks of her eyes are really like red and blood. You, oh, okay. We will discuss I guess later. We could, I guess Move. We, we could go. We could go. That's fine. It's just really it's just the middle of the day. What's going on? I thought everything was okay. Is there? Everything is not okay. Move out the front. I, I thought someone just broke a window. What's what's the problem? At this point, I'm I just, would say I'm already booking it. I'm moving. I'm still out. We're still outside. Or I'm still. It just... would be, uh, we are very much not wanted here by the looks of it. Uh, I think it would be a good idea if we all moved towards uh, maybe one the of the lower parts of the city. They're all upstairs in the, in the hotel. Right? Oh, are they all upstairs? Yeah. Sorry, I thought we were yeah, all Yeah, you and I are outside, I think, and he ran inside, yeah. yeah. And I was going to ask you. I mean, well, I mean you could have, you could, Sven, you could have followed just, if you wanted. Not true, yeah. I just go and, like, grab Eladir's hand and, like, lead her downstairs. <laughs> I guess we got to go them. get her shit. Sorry, them. Lead them downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zilch, what are you doing? Are you coming? Follow along. Yeah, I'll well, follow along. I suppose so. If you feel that we're under attack, uh, ain't I suggest that we head to the Cobalt Soul? I can guarantee our protection there. We will be filing a complaint in the morning. Somebody take a screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's horrible. <laughs> Uh, get those receipts. We'll take the north exit or gate. Words. There's and the only way out. Lord? There's only one which, way out. Yeah, There's only one, one way in and one way out. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this will be fun. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and grab all my shit, uh, my bag and stuff. Oh yeah, I grabbed all my shit before we left. Just, just for the record, but. Is there going to be any yeah. inns open for us to for us to crash? We we need a good night rest, and I have stuff that I need to do in town t- t- in the morning. None of that is important right now, Myrtle. We need to move. I think I, mean, uh, I think Zilch idea. said that uh, he he could take you guys soul. over to the Cobalt Soul. Okay, that works. What ward is the Cobalt Soul in? The Tangles. Zilch. Oh, okay. The Tangles. Okay. That's- it's, it's, it's not the Shimmer Ward. That's pretty much the important thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys. You guys picked Zilch up from the Tangles on your way from. Uh, uh, sorry, at the Cobalt Soul on your way from the park to the shopping. Uh, if you look at the map, the Cobalt Soul is this whole little block right here. The four buildings right there. All uh, right. And the the Burning Bottle Alchemist is uh, is nearby. It's right over here. Also, while we're walking right. through, two birds with one stone. While we're walking through the city, I want to be in the back, and if anybody happens to notice, I'm not drawing attention to it. I now look like a small human child. What? Yes, Sven would definitely notice. I, I take <laughs> Sven. <yeah>. Always <laughs> if, if I'm just going to say. I, I'm not going to say much about it. I'm just going to. <laughs> What's that you're here? still leading me by the hand. I also transform myself into uh, just a normal human. <laughs> okay. I want to transform myself into a larger orc. No, I'm just. So we have to go through that gate. It's gonna if be everybody's great. doing it, I want to be a giant orc too. Fuck. Get off my Kool Aid. Too bad you don't have this guy's <laughs> Who says I do? Uh, I mean, I'm just assuming, but. I don't. You know, it might be a good idea if. Uh, I don't know if we want to split the party. Um, we probably don't. Let's see if we can walk right through the gate and just tell them we are leaving. Uh, they might be a little preoccupied at the moment, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I hope so, after Sweet. what you pulled. Well, I, you don't know what they're. You don't know what I pulled. No, I know. I, I'm not saying yeah. character. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Okay. Okay, so are you guys so, walking down really? towards the gate then? Yes. Yes. Okay. So as you uh, as you make your way down there, you can see there's uh, there's a few guards standing out front. Um, there's there's maybe five or six regular guards and uh, one of the head guards, uh, and you you see that there's there's uh, a guy um, who's wearing robes of some sort that's uh, standing there as well. Uh, the uh, there's there's smoke coming off of the top of the guard tower a little bit, um, but it's not on fire. Uh, there's... There, most of them are standing over near the the guard building, um, but there's, there's two of them kind of lined up on either side of the, uh, the road right by the gate. Um, and they're as soon as they they see you guys coming, they all just kind of stop and turn and look at you. Nobody moves. Nobody says anything. But they're just their heads are following you as you're walking down the street towards the gate. We will some pocket salt. <laughs> will, well, I I would like to just walk past and walk out the gate. Okay. Nobody. Nobody makes any move to stop you. They're. I'll stab them down. There's four. There's four of them standing on alert with their spears. The other ones just kind of standing off to the side over near the the guard house. But they all just stand. I there just. I just want to be, you be watching their, them. Their heads. I don't want to be watching them just to make any move. Okay. But I look like a child, so. <laughs> Nobody's making any move, but they're watching you go. Is the gate open, or are we able to get? Yeah, through? it's th- there is a gate, but it hasn't actually ever been closed. It's uh, it's it's open. It opens inward. It could be closed, uh, but it's been open this whole time. With it only kind of being closed by people standing in the middle of the road. Gotcha. As we're passing so, by them, yeah. when they're while they're still watching us, I just want to like turn around while still holding Eladir's hand and like do the like little child thing of like pull their eye down and like blowing a raspberry at them at the same time. <laughs> they're all <laughs> stone I'm gonna, face. I want to flip a bird as I'm walking away, not even looking back. Nobody I'm tempted to fuck with them all, but I don't want to. Yeah, I didn't want to do too much. I do. Honestly. I was going to just rekindle those flames up with the control flame, but... Uh, oh, do it. No, what? We'll, we'll, we'll leave them. No. <laughs> I don't want to... Uh, oh, dear God, no. Ones. Zilch. Yes, I'm not Lead going us to... to the cobalt, so... I mean, the city might be racist, All but right. we want to come back here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. And try not to get in trouble. Okay. And you guys are able to. It's very tense as you walk through. Everyone is extremely tense, but you walk through without issue. No one does anything. As you get uh, probably 25, 30 feet away, they do close the gates. But you're able to make your way through the tangles and over to the Cobalt Soul. And let's maybe take a break right here. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. Ooh, we Love made that. it. All right, guys. Going on break. All right, see you in a bit. I think we're all back, so let's get it going. All right, so you uh, have, have passed through the the tension at the gates and made your way through the tangles over towards the Cobalt Soul, uh, where you uh, wouldn't normally be able to go into, but uh, with Zilch as a part of your group, um, you are able to go in. Well, that was uh, tense. Duh, whose fault was that? Fiery situation. 
I mean, what you did. I just. They did not see me light the guard tower on fire. I you just... lit their guard tower on fire? Wait, you lit a. Wait, that was you? Oh, yeah. Yes, yes that was me. I, I want. I fist bump. I put my fist to fist bump. I will fist bump you back. Alright. That was perfect. Yes, I, I wanted to do something that was not going to get us in a whole bunch of trouble, but, uh, you know, still kind of was fucky with them, so. Uh, and I also shit on them as an owl. <laughs> that was fun. That was... Oh, so that was fun too. Uh, oh, what I would pay to. I mean, not yes. that it should make know, a difference considering they're made of shit anyways. They probably oh. just thought it was part of their outfit. Well, it was uh, a, a little satisfying, but killing them would have been more satisfying. I uh, saw the mural that was on the, uh, the outside of the no, cottage. No, uh, no, 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 what, there was no mural. Continue. What's uh, uh, you mural? mean other other than the graffiti of all of us being stabbed with stuff? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, was that meant to be us? It wasn't very well done, so it could be a little ambiguous. I mean, but, they, might have, yeah. they might have been in a rush. I thought they were just drawing some nasty stuff about the owners. Could be. Definitely could be, yeah. I'd like to go to bed. Are there beds here? Should I just sleep in this corner? I'm good with this corner. There, it's totally fine. I can just use my bag. There shall be enough lodgings, but I will double check. Yeah. So, uh, so Zilch is able to uh, arrange for you guys to uh, to get. There are some some rooms that can be had there. Uh, are occasionally um, cobalt soul from other uh, archives that that stay there, and there are some they're very basic rooms, but uh, uh, but they are they are rooms. There, roof over your head, a secure door, and uh, and, a, and a basic bed. You can rest here this evening. However, you're expected to conduct yourself appropriately. This is a house of worship, essentially. But Defined I'm sure appropriately. Go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's pretty, fine. Pretty I'm good. down with that. It's pretty, pretty easy to follow that one, yeah. Mm. I thought there was going to be some sort of ritual thing. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really least... familiar with your religion. Also, I didn't realize that this whole thing was a, was a uniform that you're wearing. I thought it was just like a really cool fashion choice that you were making. I, I but that's also cool that peg. you all dress peg. the same. Peg, peg, <laughs> who is peg? Who, who, who? Myrtle, who? Myrtle, Myrtle, Myrtle. Oh god! Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Turn around and walk out. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh so if if everyone is bedding down you are able to uh maybe uh maybe sleep comes easier for some than others but you are able to all eventually get your your full night's rest and... i snore even louder because my sinuses are fully clogged <laughs> <laughs> and uh and you wake up in the morning Zilch is uh, is probably up first to uh, to come meet you guys yes. at your rooms Definitely. to make sure you're, you're not getting into anything too crazy. I'm guessing. No, I uh, have spent a lot of <laughs> my magical abilities. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> okay. And he just he just what who what? Oh, we are just yeah. yeah. So it's it's yeah. it's the morning now, and uh, yeah, the the day is yours. Okay. Uh, so I feel like talking to my grandmother is not an option anymore. 
I feel like it is. Uh, it's yeah, just I think going we're to have to be Zilch that has to go do it, or Luck. Or Correct. Or both I... of them. Okay. I believe. Well, I'll stay guys... with you, Myrtle. Let if us go get a drink. W well, I need, I need to go back to that Alchemist place. If you want to come with me. You. Yes, of course. Okay, so if you guys want to go do that, um, I kind of had decided that I wanted to tell her off a little bit, but that could always be saved for later. Uh, the other thing we could do is we could ask her to meet us outside the Shimmer Ward. Or the, yes, the Shimmer Ward. No, that's um, okay. I'd rather put off confrontation for longer if possible. We could okay. just send uh, a messenger in. That's my favorite no, no, idea. This, this uh, is fine. This totally this makes sense to me that I don't actually have to talk to her and bring feelings into that stuff and actually have a conversation about them. Maybe like it would be plan. cathartic. This is a good plan. No, no, no. Just, just completely avoid. Avoid is great. Avoid is healthy. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, Zilch, I think you were trying to say something in there? Uh... I can't recall. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we desire to return to the Shimmer Ward, unfortunately, two of you would be difficult to enter. In fact, I don't believe you would regain entry. Yes, I was fully not uh, expecting to get back in there, truthfully. Um, so, uh, the uh, I will sit here in the... Uh, I will find uh, an inn or a pub and I will uh, read my books and I will have a, a beer and uh, that will be my day and I will wait for you guys to uh, return. That sounds delightful. Good for you. Excellent. You take your you time. Who, uh, just, you know, just, uh, just have me. a me day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go to the Alchemist. Zilch just asked Grant. if anyone was going okay. to join him. Um, I think Doug was going to go. Is that okay with you? Absolutely. The more the merrier. Was I supposed to go see uh, Chris? I, think I, I was supposed to um, go Not necessarily. No. Um, All right. No, not Let's at make this it point. All right. All right, that works out. So yes, I I will accompany. You. Yes, mm. so you're gonna Eladir. go. It'd be interesting. Okay. The Shimmer Ward. Eladir, do you want to come to the uh, the Alchemist with us, or do you want to go and do your own thing? Uh, I can come with uh, with each well, of the Alchemists. Or... Okay. Just as an want? idea, guys, maybe maybe Eladir going with Zilch would be a good idea. In a in disguise, perhaps it'd be easier to disguise as like a human uh, of his. Oh, you mean to get past? You know, there. you know. I could, I could do that. Just so we do. I think it'd be safer without him going alone. There. Maybe. There. Because I don't think I'm gonna have a very easy time getting past those assholes. Yeah. If, if so. Okay. If you're okay with that. Is Zilch okay with that? Absolutely. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get... Uh, so it's just you and I? Yes? Good. Let's get going then. We'll leave these... There's... Do their thing. Come find you. Okay. Should we just meet, out, meet outside of this place? Is that... Does that work? I believe so. All, All right. Inform, sounds I'll good. inform uh, my my my. Before you go, situation. do you know what you're there to speak about? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I'm really glad that you asked that question because you're right. right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because uh, I did I not. Did, I did not. Nose, right? Uh. Does she? I think I was the only one that talked to her. You guys. I don't there. even think I know. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, I think it was just. It was Technically, just... Oh, Nug was okay. there, but. But okay. I don't remember. But oh, Al yeah, wasn't right. there. Okay, so. Oh yeah, so... that's true. You um, are. <clears throat> to, I I to can Trubisky. remind you guys all if, if okay, you'd like. Perfect. Um, it That'll basically, be. uh, <laughs> you were told that uh, Catherine Tversky uh, was off. Uh, studying uh, lizard folk 
on an island somewhere off of the Menagerie Coast. Uh, she had been there for quite a while, but uh, hasn't been heard from uh, for the last six months or so. Um, through the, the magic that uh, Dulan Tversky uh, has, she knows that uh, Catherine is still alive, but she's been unable to communicate with her, and uh, she would like to um, find out what's going on and, and make sure that she's alive and safe. But nobody cares about what she wants. I just want to find my mom. <laughs> right. So um, so you're going there to confirm with her that you will take up the adventure, the quest? Yeah, basically the idea was um, there had been obviously some tension with, uh, with Myrtle leaving. Um, she was going to uh, hire some adventurers uh, to do this anyway. Uh, but if you guys wanted the job, it was it was certainly yours. And, and if you, oh, decided so you wanted sure she... it, you could come back and, and get the the details. Also, make sure she pays sub in advance. Well, Just make, for the record. Make sure Sorry. you find us mounts or some mode of transportation. Well, maybe we can do that while they're doing their meeting. Hey, or hey, I hey, can hey, go hey, do hey, that. Hey, 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 cool. hey, 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 hey. Don't use our money. Use their money. We might need hay too. Yes, but <laughs> <laughs> wow, Jesus. <laughs> so, Myrtle, <laughs> when I'm looking yeah, for your that? mother here, what what exactly do you want me to say to her when I find her? Oh no no no! We're uh, we're going to find my mom. You're going we're to talking, talk to her grandma. You're talking to my grandma, who's a bitch who made me forget <laughs> that I had anyone and that I was abandoned and convinced okay. me that I was abandoned and alone for my entire life mm -hmm. and was just raised by like some family. All right. So you want me to go find your grandmother and request to know where her daughter is? Essentially just get more information and get some money for the quest. Yes, and you, ask for money. you are confirming yeah, that we so are going she... to take the quest. Yeah. So and she's right. sending us to find her daughter who is my mom. Okay, and I will... She's paying us for that. Right. And, yes. And yes. Keep your wits about you. She's a wily one. Myrtle is or no, don't hurt her. I mean I'll take Tra I'll take that compliment. Traveski. <laughs> Traveski. You mean this Traversky. grandmother? Traversky. Well apparently they I Traversky. think they're all they're both Traver No no, no. Traversky is her first name. Wait, that's her first name? No, uh, no. no, no, no uh, Dulon. Dulon. Dulon, Dulon is her first name, and Tversky is, is her last name. Yeah. Oh, I have it written Wait. down that my nickname for her was Taber until I decided I hated her. But uh, <laughs> what? Like Dulon. What's Taber? her title too? What's her title? Her title. She is the Archmage of Dysology. D Y S O L O G Y. Uh, and it's D U L A with... Dulan or yeah. uh, D O uh, D O O L A N Dulan. Dulan. All right, so perfect. Ma All Master right. Dulan Tversky, Archmage of Dysology Master at the Dulan. Cerberus Assembly. This reminds Thanks. me of the Rammstein song. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, this is a very uh, Zemnian area, so. Oh, they are love. That makes let's sense. Get this, uh, let's get this started. Get the show on the road. Uh, what's Nug doing? I'm going to go with you guys or go look for Mount or both. Yeah, go with us. We'll deal with mounts if, if uh, Zilch... Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. Uh, Tyler, you're muted. Yeah, Sven's reading his books, I think. You should see if uh, she will provide mounts for us. Are we still in the tavern, or are you guys gone? No, we're not gone yet. Or, um, or no, sorry, in the in this could, cobalt Yeah, we could get cobalt Zilch to, like, ask my grandmother to, like, get mounts, too, like, on top of what she's paying us. What makes you that believe that she'll give us money for this quest? She says she was yeah. going to. Yeah, oh. she said she was going to, and also um, guilt. She's got a horse in the race, so. Yeah. Oh. Also, also guilt. Insane amounts of guilt. Just feel free to like try and pile that on if you want to. I don't understand the concept of guilt. You don't need to. Okay, but we, you we are don't have time to that explain that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Elidir, you ready? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Right. This is going to be great. Okay, so Eladir, are you going in through the gates as you are, or are you disguising yourself in some way? The I was going to like, walk is... away. So uh, I was going to say, the funny <laughs> part is, this feels like the part where we should have stopped for the night. <laughs> Probably. And we can, if you'd like, or we no. can do this and then... No, got a bit more we, we, it'd be we, nice we to get hour. this out of the way. Yeah, it'd be nice let's to get it done. Yeah. Let's go do that. that. Yeah. Um, I as yeah, as we like walk away, uh, Elder probably turns to like uh, Zilch and says, "Um, how how should I make myself look? I what's like a good?" Uh, honestly, um, the guards liked you when they saw you, so <laughs> I think you're gonna be just fine. <laughs> uh, you. Uh, unless you want to wear some cobalt soul stuff, I can give you that. I can I can do that, and I like disguise myself to just look like maybe just a shorter sort of like different looking um like I'm probably similar sort of robes as like Zilch, but um shorter and you know more plain looking. All right. Are you still a pallet elf, or have you changed the look no, of I've yourself? No, human. Human? Human looking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, male or female? Uh, male. Okay. Um, so, uh, you guys uh, get up towards the gate, uh, and they, they are open now. It's daylight. Um, there are there is a, a cart as you're getting up close enough you can see the gate there's there's a cart that uh, has been let through and uh, so you guys go up to the gate and uh, there are a couple of guards standing there they're different ones you, you haven't seen these ones before I will approach and I'll say good day I would like to enter the shimmer board please very well do you have some business yes we do I'm looking for uh a grandmother. Your, your, your grandmother? She's not necessarily, truly my family, but uh, I view her as my grandmother. Um, he kind of looks at the other guy, and they they see your cobalt soul gear on, and just kind of shrug and let you through. I appreciate your work ethic. Good day. <laughs> 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 All right, good, good, good day. Good day, dude. So it's, I like bow my head, like kind of mimicking Zilch. <laughs> Make a deception check. What? Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's still Eladir's voice, and it's a big Shit. human man's body. Oh. oh. Okay. Good job. Yep. I don't. I don't take any notice. Um, so you guys, uh, start walking up the main road, uh, uh, Zilch would probably be aware of which of the spires belongs to, uh, Tversky. He's lived in the city his whole life, and Tversky has lived here much longer than he has. Um, Eladir, uh, as you guys are walking up the main road and, and you start to come past, uh, Kamaruth Cottage... Uh, you do see the uh, the three dwarven uh, young teenage boys. They they are outside, kind of uh, painting the outside of the cottage uh, yellow. Uh, it occurs to you that your horse is boarded at the cottage right now. Rip. Shoot. One with my son's name. Well, like I'm sure I could go and. Pick it up when we leave. Like the horse okay. is being boarded there, right? Yep, and and that's that that's fine. I just uh, this is when it occurs to you that that Theo yeah. is over there still. They would kill a horse. That would be <laughs> cruel. <laughs> I they would think they would kill a horse. Yeah, those guys are <laughs> those guys aren't cruel at all. <laughs> okay. All right. So you uh, you make your way up to uh, um, to the the building that you know that uh, uh, Tversky uh, 
owns and, and works and lives in and uh, go up to the gate and there's someone standing there. Yes? Can I help you? Good morning. We're here to uh, meet with Traversky. Uh, does uh, does Master Traversky know that I is she expecting you? I believe she is, yes. Um, she would be aware of our business with her. Can, can I get a name? You can call me Zilch. Zilch, very well. Yes. But uh, just just give me a moment. I'll, uh, uh, I'll go check. Before you go. Yes? If she doesn't understand that, say that I'm here on behalf of Myrtle. Uh, very well. Thank you. Thank God you remembered to do that. I, I know. I soon as I go. I will remind you that she she did know who you were. Okay. Uh, I didn't. In, I wasn't sure. Hearing. I wasn't yeah. fucking sure. I was like, right. oh. remember remember that she really knew who you were, Silch. Oh. Oh, I do remember. Yes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, that sounds Perfect. sketchy. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Gross. I will save this uh, cigarette for laughter. Uh, so, uh, so the person, it's, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, a, a, a younger woman actually is the one that uh, you were speaking with there. And she, she goes in and comes back out uh, a few minutes later. She's got a, like a, like a notepad of sorts. Uh, she says, uh, yes, the, the master will see you. Um, follow me. Thank you. She opens the gates and lets you guys in. And uh, she leads you uh, into uh, to a, a little study. Uh, there's a big desk there and uh, a couple of other chairs. She says, uh, have a seat. Uh, she'll be in shortly. All right. Yeah, I'm just sort of mimicking uh, Zilch's mannerisms. Like, I'm just sort of following along. <laughs> I will kind of just flip my cloak over to the side and take a seat up and cross my legs and sit there and wait. I Very... do like the... <laughs> I I do exactly the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Elidia. Uh, so just a few moments uh, later, um, from from another door, there's uh, there's kind of a uh, a door towards the the back of the room. Uh, it opens up, and uh, and you see Dylan Diversky come in. She's wearing uh, the same robes that uh, that you saw her wearing the other day, either or at least very similar, if not the exact same ones. Uh, and she comes in and she says, "So you have uh, decided to take up the quest?" Good morning. Yes, that's just what we're here for. And uh, where where is the rest of your group? They're uh, out and about procuring supplies for the hope of this con of this quest, and I am here to conduct the conversation with you, along with Eladir here. Ah, Eladir. Hello. Hello. You, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you are a practitioner of the magical arts, I see. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. And, uh, so, so Myrtle did not want to comment what you are saying. Uh, I believe <coughs> Myrtle would have had difficulty entering the Shimmer Ward. The, uh, guards yesterday gave us a bit of, uh, trouble, to be frank. She kind of slowly nods. Yes, I, I suspect that they would. Mm-hmm. In any case, um, you are you are here for information on how to go about this job. Absolutely, that would be grateful. So, as I, I believe I told you when you were when you were uh, in the meeting with us previously, my daughter Catherine uh, was uh, studying the uh, rituals of the lizard folk that live on uh, a small island, the island of Sinukodo. Right. It is near the town of Pomaflora. 
and Palmaflora. Oh, Palmaflora. P A L M A space F O F L O R A. Uh, go ahead and make a history check. Probably just Zilch. Okay, stand by. Mm -hmm. History, history. Uh, 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 uh. All right. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a one. <laughs> uh, 18. Right. Um, so, yeah, you have uh, heard of Palma Flora. It is on the Menagerie Coast. Uh, it's uh, typically known for being um, sort of a vacation spot. Uh, and it's it's relatively close to uh, to Port Damali. Right. So uh, what she did was she stayed in uh, the island with the lizard folk. Um, I don't know if you know about them. They are different from some of the other tribes that. I live on those jungle islands, uh, unlike the one T, who are typically very aggressive. Uh, the lizard folk are mm, relatively neutral. They they don't uh, they don't attack people who come to their island, nor do they try to make friends with them. They uh, just want to be left alone, and they are relatively harmless. I'm not so much concerned that they have uh, taken Catherine. Um, so th this is where the question comes in, is, uh, why she has not been seen. Uh, there was a captain of a ship that would uh, check in every few weeks on her, bring her back to Palma Flora to resupply, and then take her back to the island of Sinekudo. Uh, I have contacted this captain. Uh, he apparently uh, went to her uh, meeting space and uh, she did not show up. So he went back to Pomaflora and went back on the next scheduled day. Again, she did not show up. Once uh, this happened two times, he contacted me to let me know that she has not been seen. I have uh, let him know that I will be sending an adventuring party, and uh, he is willing to take you from Palma Flora to the island. Excellent news. Good. Good. Do you have any more... Uh valuable information for us that would increase the success of this excursion. Uh, beyond that, uh, uh, this is all I know. Uh, she right. had a couple of research assistants with her. Um, just a young, uh, just a couple of young uh, people who were okay. uh, interested in uh, finding some stuff out, but uh, that is all. Uh, all right. the, the name of the, the captain, his name is Captain Thomas Morley. Okay. Uh, apparently, he has uh, some kind of a, a reputation as a, a former pirate. Uh, he, is, he is known to be uh, uh, harsh, but I have I have not met Mister Mister Morley myself. All right. Great. Um, uh, um, you, you said she was on this island. Um, are there many ways? On and off the island, or many people that go there, or is it fairly isolated? It is a very secluded, isolated island. Uh, the only inhabitants are the the lizard folk, and they prefer to be by themselves. They don't reach out to the outside world, and uh, well, they do not attack newcomers. They do not typically welcome them either. My daughter has had 
a lot of experience with uh, tribes such as this uh, all across Exandria. And so um, he was well equipped to uh, make contact uh, and, uh, and learn about them. Um, would you know if they spoke common or would we have to find some other way to talk to these tribes? Uh, I believe that some of them may. Uh, this particular island, I, I do not know. Uh, they are... Um, they keep to themselves, but they are still intelligent beings uh, with, with many capabilities. Uh, I think it's likely that at least some will speak common, but likely not all of them. And um, do you have a um, a like physical description of her, and maybe like some sort of uh, thing she might know, just in case someone is disguised as her? Uh, and uh, so um, she holds out her hand, and uh, kind of magical image uh, shows up. Uh, it looks almost like uh, uh, like it's not a 3D image. It's more of like a portrait that uh, that shows. Um, Help me, Catherine. everyone! You're my <laughs> oh wow! Uh, and it uh, it shows a um, a gnome uh, female. She has uh, dark brown hair, um, brown eyes, uh, 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 kind of a sharp nose. Slightly large ears, and she looks very much like typical typical gnome. She she seems um, there is maybe a very very passing resemblance to Myrtle, um, but it's really not uh, a, a strong uh, resemblance. She doesn't look like a dark gnome. She's no, not she's a dark not. gnome. No, oh, okay. deep gnome. Sorry. No. Uh, she looks more like uh, she looks more like uh, uh, Dulan than she does like Myrtle. And so, yeah, you have a, a visual image of what uh, of what Catherine Tversky looks like. Okay. Is there anything else that I can provide to you for um, this journey? Yes, actually, if if I may ask um are you able to provide us with any sort of provisions to um aid us in this quest with payment of course um i can uh, give you some money up front for incidentals uh, i used to have a uh, a group that i used for jobs such as this and uh, they uh uh, they were a little, a little pricey. Um, nonetheless, they have, uh, they have retired. Uh, the the leader uh, was was getting up in age, uh, and so he he retired to spend more time with his husband, and he has uh, disbanded his brigade. So uh, that is why uh, I am using you folks and. Uh, yes, I, I believe uh, 500 gold uh, would be a, a good rate uh, for uh, starting out, and of course, uh, uh, more will be provided uh, upon completion of the, the job. I will uh, take a look over at Eladir, and I'll cast a message, and I'll ask him for them. Eladir, uh, do you think that's acceptable terms, or you can reply to this message. <laughs> After Libby. Um, uh, my, uh, my, like, sound cut out, so I didn't even hear it. Oh, I, mean, I heard, I heard you. Oh, ask for 100 gold oh. each. Oh. I, t I turn oh. to you, and I say, Elitir, do you believe 500 up front is acceptable terms for us? Need to reply to this message. Uh, doesn't 
seem like a huge amount compared to the other things we did, but I don't I don't know how difficult it'll be. Um I think it should be fine. Do you know of a, a ship that we could maybe take? I'll turn to uh I'll, I'll turn to um um Traversky and I'll say uh I believe we have seven companions um without insult if I may ask would it be appropriate to request for 700 Let's... I believe you are six are you not I I kind of I kind of look and I I count myself, I count him, and I start using my fingers, and... <laughs> ah, yes, six. Apologies, six. Would an additional 100 to create 600 up front be appropriate? That would be fine, Mr. Hellstrom. I will give you 600 gold now. I appreciate and it. I upon appreciate completion it. of the mission, more will be provided. Excellent. Would, would Zilch have known that completion only required, because I specifically asked this, that we just message her or write her or somehow let her know where her daughter is and that she's alive? I think he... Um, sorry, can you repeat that? I'm not sure. I, forgot. I didn't hear that. Uh, I don't think he would know that, because that was only told to you and then Nug was in, but I don't think it matters. Oh, anymore. I guess, yeah. Wait, would Zilch have known that you have to actually go loud. No, Zilch messages. was there. Zilch was there. In the back. <laughs> Zilch was in the back of the room that, at that time. Smoking. Yep. He was in the room where it happened. Oh, was he? Oh, so he would know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I simply need to know that she is all right. Okay. That, uh, that nothing unfortunate has befallen her. She would like to leave to do her own thing again. That is fine. I just need to know that that is okay. what is happening. We will get that information for you. Thank you for the uh, riches up front. Is there anything myself or Eligir can do for you prior to our departure? No. I, uh, I believe you have done very much for me, Mr. Hellstone. Excellent. And she uh, kind of opens up a book that's on her desk, leafs through it a little bit, and puts it back down. Okay. Anything else, Ella, do? Tyler, your <laughs> voice has been through. There we go. The guards! <laughs> the guards. God. <laughs> Last night's guards. Oh, yes. Um, them, I mean, what? Before them flogged. Uh, last night we had some issues with the guards, and uh, they say that they were culturally inappropriate towards us. There has been some vandalism on a public building. Um, in regards to against uh, what some folks would call cricks. Um, we had some issues, and we are led to believe that it was the guards working last night's shift that caused the disturbance. I just wanted you to know that. Yes, I, uh, well, I, well, I did not specifically know that it had happened last night. I can assure uh, you for a long time now that I knew that that would happen. You knew that would happen. All right. Well, we just wanted to uh, bring that to your attention. Unfortunately, we lack the proof other than our word versus theirs. But uh, I just like to pass along the information. Long. Did you ask about transportation, Kaka? We've got seven hundred gold, Kaka, and they said they would. And they had the hired person. Yeah, why not there. ask? Why do we have to pay for it? They have supplies and resources, Kaka. <laughs> Do you, Zilch? Yeah. It's all good. Yeah. Very well, then. Uh, my assistant will lead you out. Excellent. Thank you. You're welcome. 
thank you. You're welcome, Elidir. Okay, and so the uh, the assistant leads you out, and uh, you're able to. Uh, do you want to go and get uh, Theo? Uh, yeah, like as we're going back through, I maybe go and grab Theo. Actually, are we going back through, or are we? Yeah, so the the, the way the back, you would go back past the cottage in order to get towards the gate. Yeah, yeah, I'd go and try and find him and bring him with me. Uh, yeah, so you uh, you go to the stables and there there's someone working there. Um, they don't recognize either one of you. Neither hello, of you uh, are the. Uh, hello. Um... I'm here just to pick up my horse, but he's, uh, his name's Theo. Oh, you look like a man! Yeah, uh, we, uh, we, we have that horse, um, you don't look like the one that, uh, that left this horse with me, I don't know, I would have to check oh. inside if... Oh, sorry, and just, I like drop the disguise. Like, oh, it's it's. Oh, sorry, it's oh. me. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Well, uh, okay, yeah. No, uh, your, your your horse is is doing fine. Uh, we, here you are. And they uh, oh. get everything all already uh, for the horse. Uh, uh, yep, Theo looks well fed and happy to see you. And yeah, nice. you're able to you're able to get him. Give him a pancake. Oh yeah. <laughs> Pancakes for all the animals. Yeah. And, and it's probably he, really dry and like horrible at this point. I, and and yet Theo eats it right up. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's a good boy. Okay. Um, yeah. Really. And uh, and so yeah, you guys are able to to go and uh, so you head towards the gate and. Um, by the time you anyone notices that uh, that it's Eladir on top of the horse, uh, it's it's too late. You're already halfway through, and one of the ones like, "Hey, what? That wasn't the one that." But you're all gone at this so point. And the, <laughs> these guys, I mean, you're leaving where they're supposed to be keeping people from getting in. So like, they they think yeah. about it for a few minutes, and they're like, "Ah, fuck it. That's not our problem now." <laughs> I it's... flip them off as I go through. <laughs> oh, I get oh my it. god, Ella, dear! It's like the PSA <laughs> coming back to Canada. They don't care. I'm, I have a question. I have a question. The ship. Where is the ship that we're going to? What's the city? Palmora. Palma Flora. Palma Flora. Palma Flora. Okay, I just making. I just there's a few little gaps I had here. I know I wasn't right. here, but I wrote shit down. Yeah, I was. I was just writing stuff down. You know, find Mama on Pirate Island with lizard people, and <laughs> other things. I mean, yeah, that's that's, that's just about it. Uh, and with that, I think that uh, that right there is where we're going to end it tonight. Perfect. 100%. All right, All right cool. Ty, take us out. All right. Thank you again for watching another episode of Dungeons, Dragons, and Dives. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye.